Hello everybody and welcome back to Outer Wilds. Again, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's it's been about a month. It has been about a month, right? Yeah, I think it's been a month now. It has been a month. But it's time. It's time to return to Outer Wilds. I've I've had time to recover. I've had time to emotionally recover from <laughs> from the ending of the base game. And I'm ready to jump right back in with the Echoes of the Eye DLC, which I am really, really excited about. And <laughs> Wait, are we starting with an Uru, Uru dictionary narration? Okay. All right, before I greet everybody, we're gonna read the dictionary first. For, for Echoes, E is for Echoes, E is for Eye, E is also for... narration redeem this could have ended up so much worse than it did but thank you the word we have is execrate execrate e-x-e-c-r-a-t-e -E -E. execrate it means to feel or express great hatred for so if you execrate your I'm s I'm not I'm not sure how that would fit in a sentence actually. That's a really interesting word. Execration is the noun version of it, so like I have such execration for you. <laughs> would mean like you hate someone. I've never heard this word before. <laughs> but it's really funny because on the other side of the page is stuff like excretion, which I'm very glad I didn't point to. <laughs> but yeah, execrate. The origin is from the Latin ex execrari, which means curse. So it's literally just like, I hate you so much, I want to curse you, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for the Uruxionary narration routine. <laughs> and welcome in, everybody. Welcome back. I've, I've got my glasses on so I can be four eyes. Because this is a game where, where I have four eyes. Four eyes and I'm still not going to be able to see anything at all. But <laughs> that's just how it goes. But welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. Let me let me go from the top. Also, sorry if I seem a bit like woobly all over the place at the moment. I'm trying to fix my tracking. I've noticed that ever since my ring light broke, whenever I'm doing like the evening streams, the lighting is so bad that my model struggles to like track my face properly. So I'm 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 like playing around with light bulbs. <laughs> Play with light bulbs in the background, dictionary open in the other hand. Oh, this is... What a way to spend a Sunday night, eh? <laughs> but yes, welcome everybody. Rika, congratulations on the first. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Welcome, Lumsev. Thank you for doing the backseat command as well. I, I even thought, like, I must remember to do the backseat command. And did not. Straight away. At least I didn't leave it as the wrong message again, though. I I almost did. I actually remembered before stream to change it. I nearly had it left as the infinite craft one, which is not applicable to this game. <laughs> Zariad, hello! Is Cat say hello cat? Oh hello. Hello, Zariad. Are you also cat then? Can I say hello cat? Hello cat. Also Lyra, hello! Welcome, welcome. Hello, Bree, welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you for all of the points wasting. Oh my goodness, so many points wasted. <laughs> I'm, I'm always, I'm still really amazed at how many points people have managed to get. There's so many. You've all gathered so many points. It's so good. Grey Snow, hello. Yes, please lurk to avoid spoilers because I have completed the base game now. And I will undoubtedly be talking about the base game. So now is the time to mute me <laughs> if you don't want spoilers. But thank you so much for lurking and stopping in. And Akira, thank you for always checking my sound alerts work for me. <laughs> and for the Awuxionary narration. Like, I've, I've never actually seen that word used before. That was a really interesting one to get. That's part of why I really like the dictionary narration redeems. Like, sometimes I'll get a word and just be like, I did not know this was a word. It's very cool. <laughs> Primal Zed, hello! Welcome, welcome. And Plantix! 
Hi. Oh, if the base game felt like it did everything, Echoes subverts expectations even more. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for Echoes of the Eye and also a little bit terrified because um, as I loaded up the game, it gave me a pop-up, which um, I did screenshot. I, I clicked through it and it hasn't popped up again. But uh, the second I opened the game... Sorry, sorry, it, it goes silent when I tab out. Uh, I opened the game and I got a pop-up which said, Certain parts of Echoes of the Eye can be intense for some players. If they become an obstacle f to your enjoyment of Outer Wilds, a Reduce Frights option is available in the gameplay menu. Reduce Frights. So I'm thinking there's... I'm... Uh, yeah. I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> I'm both excited and terrified. I'm... Look, I could hardly deal with the anglerfish. If there's going to be more scary stuff, I'm... I, we're gonna see how it goes. I might end up being a baby and turning turning that option on, but I'm gonna see how it goes first. I'm gonna see how it goes first. Like, I'm, I'm not just gonna wimp out immediately. I'm gonna play the game. If I start getting jump scared to a point where I'm not enjoying it, then I, I will turn baby mode on. I am not ashamed to say that I'm a big baby. But maybe it'll be fine. Like, I was okay with the, the anglerfish. They were terrifying. And by the end of it, I was, like, actively swimming to their mouths, just going, please just end me. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm very excited. And it also came up with a pop-up as well that said, uh, thank you for supporting uh, Outer Wilds Adventures. There's a new exhibit in the museum. So I'm guessing that's going to be, like, the introduction to the DLC. Like, this, the empty spot that there was in the museum. Like, I think that's going to be, like, the DLC starting point. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very curious to know how this is going to go. I'm so excited. Also, Jack, hello, Meowdy. Welcome on in. Also, Lyra, oh, you have an idea. Uh, <laughs> Uruktionary 2025, where I play every entry back to back. That would be horrific. That would be so awful. I kind of want to do it now. <laughs> Just every Uruktionary redeem I've done, just a little compilation of them. <laughs> oh, that would be so bad. But yeah, I'm 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 really excited for this because I I don't know anything else about it. Like all I know is that it is the DLC. It is just added to the game as an extra area slash planet question mark maybe. And so I'm guessing the museum's going to be the starting point for it. And I now also know that there are going to be frights if there's an option to reduce the frights. So, yeah, I'm... I can't wait to try and remember how to play again. Right, let's load my previous save before I broke the fabric of space-time. <laughs> and, oh, and also... Oh, I've got a bit laggy. Hold on. Uh-oh, why am I so laggy? Just on this screen? Okay, I'm back to normal now. That was weird. There was literally nothing else on the screen. Just a black screen, and I went super laggy. That is so strange. But uh, anyway, the, the lovely Lumsev has made a, a list of achievements for the base game for me so that I could like look at the achievements without spoiling myself on DLC content because a lot of them were hidden. And one of the achievements caught my eye immediately. So I'm going to start the game by getting a new achievement. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> nice gone in 60 seconds. Speedrun new achievement. <laughs> There's also a couple of like silly little achievements that seem like they could be a lot of fun to do. So I'm wondering whether I should like just spend a little bit of time to begin with like getting used to the game again after not playing it for a month. Like, try and remember all the controls. 
우와. 우와. Because there was also an achievement. I think it's like land the model ship like on the moon. I wonder how hard that would be. If I just go up. All the way. Just up. Nope. Where is it going? Who knows? Uh, I'm going that way. Uh, okay. Maybe not. Just the up thrust? I may need to do slightly more than that. Up and along. Along. We're going. We're going. I don't know where it is. It's gone. It's going. It's going. It's gone. It's, it's in the atmosphere. It is off somewhere. Where is it? I don't even know where the moon is. Where's the atoll rock? I wanted to land it on the atoll rock. I'm just hurtling through space. This has not quite worked. I think I did it. I think I might have done it. Yeah, no, I don't think that worked. <laughs> All right, but uh, I, I, I want to try and get some achievements, but also that I do want to just see what what's new as well. Oh, the music kicking in! Yay! Oh, I should have waited for the Apple Rock to actually be here before I tried to land this on it. Oh, I'm, I, I can't control this thing. Oh, we're going down. Okay, I'm just going to wait for it to, like, loop around again, I guess. This ship is very hard to control. Oh, I miss this music. I love this music. I say I've missed it. I've been listening to the soundtrack a lot. It's a really good soundtrack. And one thing that made me really happy as well was when I realized that the DLC soundtrack is separate to the base game soundtrack. So I didn't have to worry about spoiling myself with songs from the DLC. I could just listen to the whole base game soundtrack. It's so good. I'm a good fish. Is there anything down here? Ow. I probably shouldn't have just jumped. I forgot I don't have my suit on, so I can't, like, jetpack around. Maybe I should have done that first. Well, mistakes have been made. Let's... Let's go to the museum. I want to see what the new exhibit is. It's been a while since I've been here. <laughs> Onwards. Oh, recently you've actually been learning how to speed run out of wilds shipless. That sounds so terrifying. I would be so bad at that. You've seen me like rolling around in space. I would be so terrible at that. <laughs> right, let's keep walking. Oh, you love the music in game, but it's not the sort you like to listen to outside of game. Doesn't work for you without the context. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I, I can understand that. Uh, I'm the kind of person where whatever I'm doing, I like having background music. So a lot of the time, I, I do like listening to music with lyrics. But sometimes I end up in a state where if I have music with lyrics on, I get distracted by it. So I just need something very, very like, not the kind of thing I focus on. Very background music. And honestly, the, the Outer Wild soundtrack has been really nice to just pop on in the background while I'm working and just forget it's there. Just like fills up the empty quietness a little bit. Right, in we go. Hello. Yeah, the statue opened its eyes. I'm good. Hello. Yep, we've seen that. Right, what is the new... Is it this? New exhibit. Okay, what is this? The radio tower here on Timberhearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite and to this day still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. These photos were made possible by the Deep Space Satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system. 
Thanks to a recent upgrade, the Deep Space Satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. There's a satellite. Okay. All right. All right. I have a... I have a goal. I have a direction. <laughs> that is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I need to sit up straight. What am I doing? I'm so slouchy already. This is so bad. Also, Harry Pew Pew, hello. Welcome, welcome. How you missed the Outer Wilds OSD. It, it fits so perfectly. It's such a good soundtrack. It's such a good game. Oh, and thank you for the hydrate too. I I didn't open my monster. I haven't opened my monster yet. Let me, let me fix that. Haha. <laughs> Today we have the pink can. I've got a can of Monster Energy Ultra Rosa. Ah, the ones that were gifted to me still haven't arrived yet. They still haven't been shipped yet. But those should arrive soon. But I I still have a lot of pink left, so... <laughs> I'm fueled up and ready. Ah, the quantum... I love this, just the way to learn how how it works. Like, oh, I can't see you. Ah, you moved. Can't see you. Oh, you have moved. I guess this can also be a tutorial of like, if you know where it moves to, like, because I'm looking at this one, it can't move there. So it's going to have moved into the middle one. Yeah. And then if I do that, it's going to move to the right one because it can't move to the left one. Which is quite cool. Bam, 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 bam. So now it's gonna be on the left. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a quantum master. <laughs> ha. Huh. Right. So I guess now we have a, a satellite going around. But what happens if you do a 360? Well, it could go to either of the two. So it just decides. Where does it want to go? It might be like the last one I look at. Like it might go to the right now. Yeah. And then if I do that again, it might go on the left. No. Oh, it stayed where I was. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think if I turn this way, it's always going to be the ones on the right. Because I'm always looking at the left one last. So it's going to have already moved. Yeah, it's just going like middle and right. But if I do it this way around, it's gonna be middle and left. Yeah, look, it's on the left now. Ho oh, ho! Quantum powers. <laughs> Einstein was terrified of the dice, but didn't know they could be rigged. <laughs> oh, am I, am I rigging the quantum mechanics? I guess I kind of am. I'm like, well, if I'm always looking in this spot, then it can't move there. I've... Look at the locks. I've, I've, I've like, removed that as a potential spot that it can move to. Right, I need to get my suit. I keep trying to, to jetpack around everywhere. <gasps> no, first, I gotta do that. Yes, crunchy marshmallow. And now, we will go up here. Oh, wait, really? Cooney, why? Why are you making me ooh? -oo? <laughs> Hello, welcome. Thank you for wasting your points. Why the ooh? -oo? Please, I'm not even doing anything yet. <laughs> anyway, I got my suit. I got my suit. Whoa. I can jetpack again. I'm happy. Because you miss Santa. He's here every Friday. I promise. I'll tell him you missed him. <laughs> Something seems wrong. I think everything is fine. I don't think anything is out of the ordinary here. This is definitely how I always sound. Uh, yep. Yep. Because I still don't have all of the logs. There's still this thing in the, the cave. I found 
that room in the cave, and I couldn't figure out how to get there. So that is a, uh, a loose end that I do need to tie up. And I feel like there's probably more... Yeah, there's more at the vessel, too, that I need to explore. But that involves going past the anglerfish. So that's not going to happen just yet. Uh, it, it will happen. It will happen because I'm a fierce completionist and I want to finish everything. But it won't happen yet. Also, Diva, thank you for the head pat. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to have a, a sip of my monster while I do this because my throat is like, ah. I'm turning into, like, cursed uwu. I'm like toad uwu. Just, ah. <laughs> my throat is... I probably should have disabled the uwu command today. I don't think my throat is in the best condition for uwuing. But I'm doing it anyway, just for you. <laughs> Just the one. It will be out of stock after this. I cannot. I cannot keep this up any longer. Frog, froggy. Yeah, I'm just like a little frog. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Today, uh, I probably should have disabled that. Uh, my throat is a little bit not optimal for uwuing, <laughs> but I did it. But I did it. Thank you for the redeem. Turning frog mode. It's it's my my alternate form. Anyway, I've wasted I've wasted a lot of time in this cycle. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna try and do another achievement. There's an achievement for just trying to fly as far away out of the solar system as you can. So I'm gonna do that. We're just flying this way. I'm just going. I am just going. I am leaving this cursed plane behind. I'm just going. I'm just heading off. We're just going to see how far we can go. Is that Dark Bramble? Yeah, I think that's Dark Bramble. Yeah, get out of here. I'm just going to go. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going. Oh, no. Stop it. No, I want to go out. Out. Stop it. Abort autopilot. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> I'm just like, don't, don't you autopilot me back. I want to get out of here. To boldly go where no Harthian has gone before. I can't believe it just tried to autopilot me back. It's just like, hey, you left the solar system. That's the plan. That's the plan. I know the, the sun's about to blow up. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Look, I'm getting so far away from the sun. Look at this. <laughs> it doesn't even feel like I'm moving now. Everything else is so far away from me. In the vastness of the universe. But I can at least see that I'm just about 200 kilometers away from the sun now. I think I'm getting pretty far out of here. Free me. I think I may just be doing this for 20 minutes. Unless there is like a moment where it goes, okay, yeah, you've reached the end now can't go any further. See, what whatever's going on here, like, that looks really pretty. I want to go towards it. It looks pretty. Oh, it's... I can hardly see it now. Oh, well, that, that looks quite pretty. Let's go for that one. That one is also vanishing. As I... As I, as I aim towards it. I see you. How about... That big star. I'm so far away now. I'm, I'm very, very far out of the solar system. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it would be fun to do a few achievements, but like, obviously the main goal is I'm, I'm starting the DLC because I'm, I'm really excited to know 
what it entails. I have no idea what it's about. Just like another aspect of things. Like now I know it's about the satellite, so it's gonna be very interesting. Like for a start to see what information the satellite has, like what kind of photos it's managed to pick up. Cause if it got like the first ever picture of the solar system, it's probably got photos of other things. How far am I? I'm 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 a thousand kilometers away now. We're just going here for the entire loop now. We're going to escape. We're going to get out of here. We're going to be free. We're, we're going to be out of radius of the sun exploding. Definitely. It's definitely going to work. Oh, a nice game to goof around and have fun in. Yeah, that's that's what I like about it. Like, I've had so many, like, super productive streams playing this game. But I've also had loads of streams where I've ended up, like not really accomplishing anything like in the long term in like the the grand scheme of things but i've just had fun going around and having like having a little wander having a little space wander <laughs> just going on a little hike around the atoll rock and stuff like that it's so fun oh uh, yeah graphics drivers just completely shut out any form of display output can't hear a thing oh my goodness what a resolution 1024 by 768. I remember that. A, a little step up from 800 by 600. <laughs> oh no, I hope the graphics things are sorted soon. wonder how far I can get. I'm at like 2,000 kilometers now. I wonder if I can get... To, I think I can get to three. I think like with the speed I'm going at right now, I should be able to hit 3,000 kilometers. I think. Perfect for playing Mist. I still need to play Mist. I still need to play Mist. I that's it's been a game I've been meaning to stream for the longest time. I still need to play it. It's I I think I started playing it once a very 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 long time ago, but I don't remember anything about it. And then it's another thing I was considering streaming. I was considering making it a stream, but then they announced that they were doing, like, an anniversary edition or, like, a, a remastered edition or something. So I was waiting for that to come out. And then that, I'm pretty sure, has been out for a while now. But, I, but I've just been playing other games, so I haven't gotten around to it. But yeah, I do. I, I plan to make it a Sunday stream. I'm, I'm going to do it at some point. <laughs> Maybe that could be the next one after Outer Wilds. I feel like it's been long enough. It's still so funny to me th to think of like how much I love playing puzzle games and how much I adore them and how I only played like all of the the massive ones in the past three years. Like past three years I played Antichamber, I played The Witness, I played Talos Principle, I played uh my brain is just thinking of those ones at the moment. I love those games. <laughs> oh, but that reminds me, I still need to play, play Braid as well. I haven't played Braid. I need to play that. But yeah, oh, you also started maybe nine years ago. Yeah, that sounds about right. But yeah, I think Braid was another one where I was... Yeah, yeah, new Braid coming out next month. Yeah, it, it was... Um, I remembered seeing that they're doing like a... A special edition or something or a remaster like an anniversary edition so I was like yeah I'm gonna wait for that to come out oh that happened with another game too oh there's another there's another puzzle game that had like a a new remastered edition <laughs> and I was waiting to play it until that came out and then I forgot about it again oh cube cube with a Q Q U B E. I was gonna play that, and then I was like, oh, they're really, they're doing a remaster, I will wait for that. And I still haven't played it. I have so many games to play. But, oh, yes! TJM, hello! Yeah, lots of different options for playing Myst nowadays, yeah. Oh, recently announced they're remaking the second game, too! That's exciting. That's so good. But yeah, I think, I think it's, 
about time I played it. It is about time I played Mist. I, fe I feel like it's wrong that I haven't yet. <laughs> uh, like how the speed does keep increasing like it would IRL if you just non-stop accelerated. Yeah, we're, we're, we're up to like almost 6,000 now. We are getting so far away. Part of me wonders what it would look like if I turned around and had a look back. But I also don't want to lose my momentum. <laughs> Also, thank you for the luck, Bob. I hope you rest well. Thank you for stopping in. We are so far. We are so far away. I could fly backwards. I feel like I wouldn't keep the, the momentum, though. Because I'm going at, like, 25,000 meters a second now. I feel like if I, like, turned around at this point, it would slow it down. I want to just keep going. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, it's nearly time. It's nearly time. It's almost time. Right, I will turn around at the explosion moment. I want to I want to see the explosion from a distance, from a distance of um 7,400 kilometers away. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. I don't think I'm going to escape a sun going supernova. But I can try. I can try. <laughs> We're going. 8,000 kilometers away. Yeah, I think this will be fine. Completely ignoring the fact that we have discovered that it's not just this sun that's going to explode um that doesn't matter <laughs> we're not we're not worrying about that okay okay i'm still going yeah i'm flying backwards there we go Nine thousand kilometers away oh look at that oh look at it it's so pretty it's like a firework it's like a little firework. It's so pretty. Hello. Did I escape it? Hey! I'm still alive! Oh, nope! <laughs> nope, never mind. I'm dead. But I got the achievement! I love that the achievement is called It Was Worth a Try. <laughs> or It Was Worth a Shot. <laughs> it was worth a shot. I tried to escape the solar system. I did it. But yeah, there's... There's also an achievement to enter Giant's Deep Ocean fast enough to break through the current. I think that could be very fun to try out. I think it would be very fun to just approach Giant's Deep at a ridiculously high speed and smoosh my way into the center. I don't think it would go well, but I think it would be great. <laughs> but yeah, that was nice. Look at that. I've already gotten two new achievements. We have a very fruitful stream and it's only been half an hour. Right. Whoop. Oh, it, that was my scout. I just picked it up. Okay. <laughs> okay, and my, my right one bumper button still works. Good times. Right. I'm thinking now. <gasps> Shall I check out this satellite? I want to check out the satellite. We're going to go up to the satellite. I want to check out the satellite. I want to see what's going on up here. And then we can go back to Silly's. But 
I am so curious to know what's gonna be new here. Also, Alnum, hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome in, you just missed me uh, trying to fly out of the solar system. It did not work. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, I've got to say, just just playing this game again feels so comfy. It feels so right. I've kind of missed it. it there's something so fun about playing this. Right. Okay, here's the satellite. Oh, I'm going a bit fast. Oh, hello. Wait, what is that? What is that? What is this? It's a, a log thing. I need to... I'm out. I'm in space. I'm in space. I, I want to know what this is. Whoa! It's, it's going so far away from me. Okay. Come back! Come back! I want to... Ah! It's just floating away! Come home! Come back! Come back. I want to know what this is. It's... Oh, I'm so bad at just flying in space. I'm really bad at this. I'm going to match velocity and then just go very slowly. It keeps, like, going over the top of me. I, I cannot... I am so bad at just, like, free-floating in space. meters away. Seven meters away. Come on. Yes. Gabro here, checking in on the deep space satellite per ground control's request to check out a possible equipment problem. See, Hornfells, I do too work. You know, I wouldn't mind being a satellite. It's peaceful out here, among the distant stars and the soft velvety darkness. But it's uh, awfully nice for naps, too. All right, the lens. All right, little satellite, let's see what the trouble is. Huh. Everything looks A-OK, -okay, ground control. No dust or scratches on the lens and no evidence of sparking or violent explosions. Guess that rules out an equipment malfunction after all. Hear that, pal? You're in great shape. Keep up the good work out here. Okay. Well, I'm probably quite far from my ship now. Oh, no, not that far. I thought I would be further from my ship than I was, so that's quite nice. Now I need to try and get back in it. I I always, like, I always forget about the momentum. Like, I keep going and then I go too fast because I forget that it will keep, like, exponentially going up. That's my main problem. Like, I'll I'll see that something is far away. I'll, it'll be, like, 50 meters away and I'll keep accelerating even if I'm at, like, 10 meters a second. Like, it's... <laughs> I need to get better at judging that. I'm so bad at, like, figuring out the right way to, to judge that. Also, Blahai Mama, welcome, welcome. Hello, nice to see you. And Waffleoff, hello, welcome. Inertia, that's, that's the word, that's the word I was looking for. I am so bad at judging things. It's why I like my ship, because my ship is a lot heavier. It it feels a little easier to... to navigate. Right, okay, no, that's that's clipped onto that. I, I want to... map offline? Why is my map offline? Am I that far away? Okay, I think that's the satellite. Yeah, this is the satellite. Okay, so we're gonna go at uh, 66 meters a second. That seems reasonable. <laughs> a little bit, gotta go down a bit. Okay, lining up. Oh, I went past it. That's what I'm talking about. I just, I'm just really bad at judging things. <laughs> it's the same in real life as well though. I'm just so bad at judging anything. I have no depth perception. I'm really bad at depth perception. Okay. Okay. Like right here. Matching velocity. I want to look at this thing. But I'm so scared I'm going to get out the ship and just make a mess of things. I wish I could like lock onto it. Ah. 
Identified signal nearby. That's going to be the satellite. Yeah. Yeah. It's not? Yeah, it is. Hello. Hello. What's making that signal? We're not close enough? Oh, there it is! Deep Space Satellite! I've, I've identified it. It's here. Right, now I want to see what this says. Looks like that says something. What does it say? I, I'm i so bad in space. Oh, map offline! My map is also offline! Is it just that it got too far out of orbit? Do I need to, like, figure out a way to, like, boop it back? Yeah, Outer Wilds Ventures. Oh, I wonder if I can boop it back into orbit. Oh. 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 Ideas. Let me get back on my ship if I don't really overshoot it. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I'm on. I did it. What's <laughs> this Donkey Kong satellite? Have you seen my ship? Have you seen my ship? My, my ship is literally held together with duct tape and dreams. <laughs> It's the, the, the ongoing um, Outer Wilds Ventures uh, building regime. It's literally just like piece things together and hope they work. <laughs> also, how's my weekend? My weekend's been pretty good. Uh, my uh, Me and Xander have the, the house to ourselves at the moment because our mum's gone on holiday for a couple of weeks. So we had loads of really wild house parties last night. And by that, I mean, I I chatted with my tabletop roleplay group and he did Destiny 2 stuff. Uh, <laughs> the wildest of house parties. And then we watch TV together. It, we, we really go all out when we have the house to ourselves. <laughs> but yeah, oh, but true, but that one's a legit barrel. It's so good. I love that it's a barrel. But I think the problem is that it's too far out of here. So I'm going to see if I can boop. Did I boop it? <gasps> oh, nope. I broke it. The silenced cartographer rendered the deep spin. <laughs> I got my first DLC achievement. Yay. Wow. Nice. I booped it out of orbit by accident. It is now inoperable. Um, nailed it. Perfect. Flawless. Definitely what I wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad I've played Halo. Oh, it's so... Oh. I am so glad that's my first DLC of the... Uh, my first achievement of the DLC. Because I'm guessing it is because the the achievement popped up and it was in a different color. It was, it was in like the tealy blue of the echoes of the eye, as opposed to like the the orange of the base game. <laughs> so I did it. I'm um. I love that I was here. Like, oh, I am so excited to check out the DLC. Let's see what cool stuff we have. Immediately boops the satellite out of orbit, so it doesn't work anymore. very good at this game. Ba, 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 ba. I wonder how long I've got until uh, until the sun explodes, because there's another achievement as well that I was really close to getting. I'm just leaving you behind now. Because there's also an achievement for for like shooting the ship out of a gravity cannon <laughs> and I got so close to that organically but it, I shot myself out of the gravity cannon no I, I don't want to unbuckle but uh, I, I would like to try that I think that would be quite fun to try so I, I think I want to just shoot my ship out of a gravity cannon see what happens I'm flying so far towards the sun this is bad this is bad this is bad, I'm flying away from the sun. Okay, 
Okay, I'm away from the sun. I need to slow down a bit. So I'm, I'm, I'm going pretty fast at the moment. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Jack! Did you manage to fix the, the, the graphics driver stuff? I'm glad you're back. Welcome. Uh, you missed me um, finding the satellite for the DLC and immediately booping it out of orbit. So uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm proving myself to be a pro gamer. Your GPU has pretty much cooked itself. Oh no. Oh no, that's such a pain if you're going to have to get a new GPU. Oh, hopefully you can still figure out a way to use your computer without it. Oh, it's just not recognized by Windows anymore. Oh, and that just happened out of nowhere? Which one had the gravity cannons? Was it Ash Twin or... No, it was... It was on Ember Twin, wasn't it? I think it was on Ember Twin. Flying very much the wrong direction. This is... I'm, I'm getting really risky with the sun here. But I'm, I'm gonna trust autopilot to not drive me into the sun. We will see if it works or not. Oh, 1650. Yeah, that's that's not like a an old one then, or like a super old one. But I have seen a couple of Windows updates recently. Uh, I always have the moment of fear, like when I turn my computer off and it suddenly goes to uh, installing Windows update, even though I always have them uh, quote unquote paused indefinitely forever. It's always the fear of like, is everything going to work? Okay, well, there's the gravity cannon. Okay, I booped a bit. My landing gear is damaged, but I don't need it. I just want my ship in the cannon. This one, drop it in the cannon. Can I? Whoa, okay, I squeeze through. I squeeze. I squeeze. Yeah, it's, it's the problem. Like, they always force the updates on you eventually. And I'm just here like, I don't want Windows 11. I don't want these updates. I think I've literally gotten my ship wedged in here, but we might still be able to gravity cannon it. Let me refuel my jetpack before I go. We might still be able to boop it out from here. Like it's, oh no, the, I can't do it anymore. There's too much sand. Ah, oh, never mind. I can't activate it. It filled up too much. The ball is too far down. I cannot, I cannot boop. Oh well. I guess it's time to meditate. Yeah, look, <laughs> it's just wedged in the side. <laughs> look at that. I, I love how I was just like, I can get it through this gap, right? I, I, vastly underestimated the size of my ship that my ship does not fit through there it very much does not fit through there <laughs> ah, see the thing is for me like I, I would love to install updates I most other things I always like as soon as there's an update available I will I will always update it. The only things I don't are Windows updates because I have had so many bad experiences and I need to wait to check online if people have had trouble and if they have, I put it off. <laughs> and OBS because OBS updates are sometimes great and sometimes they just mean that OBS doesn't work. So those are like the two things that I never like update immediately. Everything else I mostly just as soon as there's an update, I'm like, yeah, let's keep this updated. That is, it's good to do. It's good to have things optimized, like have bugs fi fixed and like things patched that cause problems. But yeah, I've, I've had so many problems with Windows updates. <laughs> so now I just, uh, I, I, I wait so I can do research and see if people have had a lot of trouble. And then I update them when I know I've got a lot of time to potentially troubleshoot 
if things go wrong. So like not right before a stream, like on an in-between day. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, as <laughs> a sysadmin, yeah, users do not want to install updates. See, I want to. I want to uninstall the updates. I've just... I, 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 I just don't trust them anymore. I have trust issues. Only with Windows and OBS. Everything else is fine. Everything else, I'm just like, update, woo, yes. Click. But yeah, I still remember a time when I was having so much trouble with my computer. I like it was barely working and it took me the longest time to realize that it was because of the latest windows update and i had to roll it back and wait for them to release another one to fix everything they broke in the last update so it's like ever since then that's that's when i started making sure they're paused all right are you nearly are you nearly cooked are you nearly ready? You're looking like you're nearly cooked. Nearly finished baking. <laughs> I could just, I could just, um, meditate here. But honestly, I'm just, I kind of want the sand to go up to here so I can have a look at my ship properly, like, wedged in the side of this. <laughs> look at it. Look at my ship! I, I'm so proud of how I managed that. Like, it's just got the legs stuck either side. I wedged that so beautifully. Oh, See, if anyone ever tells me I need to improve my ship driving, I will just say, have you ever landed a ship as perfectly as this? Thought not. <laughs> Oh, it's really easy to misjudge how big my ship is while I'm in it. I always forget it's got it it's actually massive. In my head, it's really like narrow and sleek and cool, and in reality it's this big blob. <laughs> I love this big blob. Oh oh I need oxygen. Okay. Oh I can't get back in. Oh my goodness, I'm stuck. I can't get back in because of how it's wedged. Oh, that's so funny. I'm doomed. Can I get in from this side? Maybe. Oh, no, not quite. Almost. I can't get back in. <laughs> that's fine. I don't need oxygen anyway, right? <laughs> So what's your horoscope? Uh, I love Hello Sleepwalkers more than Monster Energy. That is, that has got two incredible things in it. I think that's a very good horoscope. I think you win. Man, I wish I could get back in my ship. That would be good. Anyway, have you heard of a band called Hello Sleepwalkers? Oh, I'm so glad things are back the way they should be. Sun is looking very spicy. Yeah, there's like, it feels like there are invisible walls. I'm trying to like get up and over and through here. Oh, I, I got through it that time. Okay. Can I get in from this side? Oh no, I'm stuck. I can't get in. I did. I got in. I managed to get in. Oh, oxygen. Oh, precious oxygen. And fish raid. Hi, girl. We took the bait and now we're here. Welcome in. You've joined at a great time. Um, I'm about to die. Hello. I got my ship um, wedged in the wall of this gravity cannon. It is very stuck. I almost couldn't get back in because of how stuck I got it. And um, I'm about to die, or die in a big fiery explosion. Welcome Raiders, how's it going? <laughs> but yes, the, it, I'm so, oh, I'm so glad. But welcome in, Raiders. Warm hug of the sun. <laughs> the the warm embrace of the sun, definitely. Please don't die. It's okay. I'll just get back up again. I get knocked down, but I get up again. They're never gonna keep me down. It's all good. It's all good. I my my. 
I will survive. I love that song. I'm so glad. <laughs> Me too. Xander hates it and I keep quoting it. It's just, I all I have to do is say to him, I get knocked down and he just looks at me and he goes, don't. Don't. But I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. I get knocked down. But I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. How can you hate that song? Well, it's. I think it's more the fact that I just keep singing it all the time. It's not the song itself, it's me. <laughs> But thank you so much for the raid! Welcome! Welcome! Enjoy the the warm embrace of the sun as as I perish whilst wedged in the side of the gravity cannon. There we go. <laughs> but thank you so much for bringing the raid this way! I hope you had a good stream! To anyone who's new here, hello! I'm Liri, I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games and today's puzzle time it's i'm playing outer wilds i've completed the base game of this game but i now have the dlc as well and so i'm venturing out again to explore the dlc of outer wilds and so far what i've done is i found the very important satellite which is the main important part of the dlc and booped it out of orbit and rendered it inoperable that's what I've done so far, so welcome in! <laughs> welcome in! I hope everyone's ready for a... A lovely, lovely time. Let's have marshmallows. Crunchy. I love that it makes a little, like, mwah noise, as though it doesn't taste nice. It's delicious. Yeah, let's get this exploring going. Yes, I'm I'm exploring in the the best way the best way possible. I wonder if it's added to my records. I wonder if the the satellite's been added to my logs. I need to check. I don't think it's added to the records. Not seeing anything new here. Might need to do something to kick it off, but I don't know. At the moment, I'm not seeing anything. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, I want to turn that back on, too. I only turned that off when I was trying to break the fabric of space-time. I want that back on now. But, uh... But, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to check out the DLC for this, though. Even though, um, it seems like it's gonna be horror. At least partly horror, because there is an option. Uh, reduced frights. Um, makes certain frightening sequences easier to navigate. Oh, if it's a navigation thing, I may need that. If it's an easier to navigate thing, I may have to turn that on. I don't know what it's for yet, though. So we we'll be seeing. We <laughs> well, I'm I'm sure I'll know it when it happens. But uh, if it's navigation based and there's scary stuff with something I need to traverse, I may need to turn that on. I'll be fine. Oh, I, I, if you believe in me, then I also believe in me. I mean, I got, I got past the, the anglerfish. I did pretty well with the anglerfish. I think I'll be good. I think I can do it. If I can figure out anything I'm doing, that is, but, <laughs> but yeah, I, I believe. Thank you for the hydrate too. I will have a sip of my monster. refuel before I head back out and s into space. Although this is probably going to be another short cycle. It's probably going to be me sending my ship off into the depths of space and then meditating to start again. Oh, what flavor? I have currently got Monster Energy Ultra Rosa. I've, I've got the pink can. I've, I've got it on the screen up there. <laughs> The little can that's above my head, I change it depending on which one I'm drinking. Like, hold on, I'm just going to pause the game a sec. And blah, 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 blah. You see at the moment it is the pink can. I can also change it to the white can. Bob bomb And I can also change it to the teal can, the fiesta. Bob bomb 
and those are the only three flavors I drink. <laughs> but I could change it to any of those. Oh, uh, we'll see. Turning it off didn't even help you. You had to take more drastic measures. Oh, we, we will see then, I guess. We'll see. But yes, I've got the, the Ultra Rosa at the moment. It's pure coincidence that my favorite flavors of monster match my color scheme. <laughs> as a VTuber. Like, that was not intentional. I I just happen to like these ones the most. But I think it is so funny that it's th the ones in the coloured cans that I like. Like, the pink and the teal can are the flavours I like the most. <laughs> and then the white can is the flavour that Xander likes the most because it does not smell as strongly sickly sweet as the other two. And... Every time I drink them, he's like, can you drink another one? That smells so sweet. <laughs> it's all good. I just need to drink it fast enough that he doesn't get the chance to notice me having it. <laughs> Thank you for the dude as well. Oh, wait, another short cycle. The last one was full. That's true. I guess in my mind, I was like, it was a short cycle because um, I didn't accomplish anything. <laughs> Except, like, booting the satellite out of orbit. <laughs> but, uh... Let me back on the game. Yeah. Let's let's try launch my ship out of a gravity cannon. That sounds like fun. I think that would be a good one to do. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Boom. Here we go. Mango flavors are hard to top. I know, right? I, I love mango. Mango flavored anything. I love mango. One of my favorite fruits. Either mango? I, I think I, I generally tend to go for either mango. Oh, I just booped back down on the... Oops. Oops. I landed back on Timber Hearth. I did not fly far enough away before going down. <laughs> But uh, I've... No, no autopilot. Wait, it's on the other side of the sun. Oh, I'm silly. I didn't notice that. We need to go up a bit. We gotta go up a bit. There we go. But yeah, I love mango. It's like, mango is one of my favorite fruits. I also love berries. Oh, new air raid! Welcome in! Hello, welcome, welcome raiders! Oh my goodness, hold on. Let me let me land my ship and then I'll be able to say hi properly. <laughs> but welcome in. I hope you had a good stream. Welcome, welcome. Just trying to... Okay, undershot target. That's fine. It's fine, I'll get there. All right. I see the gravity cannon. That's where I want to land. This time I won't get it stuck in the side of it. I'm just gonna land it next to it for now, I think. Oh, that's a bit fast. I'm a bit fast. Oh, no, I'm fine. That was a perfect landing. That was perfect. I'm proud of that. Hold on. <laughs> Ooh. No way. Welcome in. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for the raid. Come on in, raiders. Welcome to anyone who's new here. Hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink haired cat girl from the UK and I love comfy games and puzzle games and today is very puzzly. It's I'm playing Outer Wilds. I've completed the base game for this game but I've just I've just installed the DLC. I've had the DLC for a while but I've only just installed it. So today is a a very exploratory session. Like I've already like completed the quote unquote game like, I've done the main storyline, but I'm now at, like, a save point right before all of that. Just so I can explore more. Just to complete more. And I have a whole DLC thing to explore. So it's very exciting. <laughs> but thank you for bringing the raid this way. And, oh, I meant to say as well, Gil, to you as well. Uh, if, if you have to rest after your stream, please don't feel obligated to stick around. If you If you have to head off and rest or get food or drink or anything... Please don't feel like you have to stay because you raided. But if you do want to stick around for a bit, um, it's we're, we're very we're very casual at the moment. <laughs> what about those of you who are familiar with me? 
Oh, I'm still leery then as well, but you don't need to be told. I guess I should change the introduction. Just be like, to anyone who's not new here, hi again. <laughs> Happy to see you. Oh, I feel obligated to stick around. I'm glad you want to stick around. It makes me happy. I'm always I'm always glad that people want to join me on my adventures. Especially just floofing around through space at the moment. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid. I hope your stream went well. I hope you had a good, good gay flower time. <laughs> but yeah, so far in this stream, I have gotten an achievement for dying within 60 seconds. I've gotten an achievement for flying all of the way out of the solar system and then perishing. I've gotten an achievement for breaking the important satellite for the DLC. I think I think those are the only achievements I got. <laughs> I've been breaking things. It's great. I've I've just been breaking stuff. <laughs> And now I'm about to get another achievement for blasting my ship out of a giant cannon. Which will then mean that my ship is not here anymore. So I've broken things again. I'm going for the very serious achievements. I'm... This is a very serious time. <laughs> but, oh, the Sheppy as well. Thank you for following. Thank you for deciding to stick around. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Achievement get professional screw up. That's me. And oh, you got the good ending. <gasps> Two more endings. And then you've done it. Oh, that's fun. I hope you had a good stream. But yeah, it was... My main idea going into this stream was... Uh, I really want to explore the DLC, but I also... I am a voracious achievement hunter with video games. I like getting every achievement. But I didn't want to risk spoilers because I know that the, spoil the, the achievements are mixed and a lot of them are like hidden achievements too. So you have to click to reveal it. And I didn't want to risk like clicking and revealing a DLC achievement that would spoil things for me. So Lumsev very kindly made me a list of like just the base game achievements that I can do. And as soon as the list was sent, I was just like, there's an achievement to die in 60 seconds. That's perfect. I'm going to walk into the campfire. <laughs> There's a lot of them that look very difficult, and I think they are going to be quite big challenges for me to do. Like, one achievement is to just manually fly to the sun station, and I'm, I'm pretty convinced I'm just going to fly into the sun multiple times. But I do want to do it. I want to do it eventually. I will make it happen eventually. I'm determined. <laughs> But, oh, it was good. Oh, with 100% more fur baby sneeze than usual. Oh, I love the sneezes. I love when animals sneeze. Also, Tuniflo as well. Thank you so much for the resub for 27 months. That's so many months. Thank you so much. How, how long is that? That's 12. Yeah, that's two and a quarter years. <laughs> that's so long. That's... So such a long time to resub. Thank you so much. Thank you for resubbing. I you you resubbed right as I was like desperately trying to not crash my ship. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. I I love the silly achievements as well though. Like I like that there are serious achievements for actual challenging things, but I also love that some of the achievements are just um very silly. Oh, there is one as well that I think would be really fun to do, which is um, to end a time loop alive after taken, after having taken and healed over a thousand damage. I don't know how much health I have. I don't know how much damage I would have to take to do that, but I think it would be quite easy to do. I think it'd be quite easy to do that if I just like stand in the campfire for a bit. Go in my ship, heal, come back, stand in the campfire. Go back in the ship, heal, stand in the campfire. And then just wait around for a bit. Yeah, just farm the campfire. <laughs> I think that could go well. Oh, wait, when you started the game, you jumped in the geyser in the village and died before... <laughs> it just... You got the kazoo credits? Was it, was it, would it be like the kazoo credits for that? Or was it just like a very solemn, silent, just you're dead kind of credits? 
No, the kazoo one was like breaking the space time continuum, wasn't it? It's just the silent one if. Yeah, just the silent one if you just die. <laughs> oh, what a way to play the game. Just, you are dead. And ArtMV as well. Hello, welcome. I, I, I saw you in chat. I just realized I forgot to actually say hi because a lot of stuff was happening. But hi. <laughs> welcome. Yeah. As long as you have a constant stream of healing, it should be easily possible. See, the thing is, I can just go onto my ship and fully heal at any time. So if I just stand in the fire for a little bit and then I go on my ship and heal and then just like back and forth just keep taking bits of damage i think it would be easy i would just have to wait until the end of the loop which would be the annoying part wait hold on i've got an idea i have an idea actually i might be able to do it without my ship i wonder okay okay i have a plan of action now if it goes wrong then just kidding, I never had a plan of action, but... I'm not gonna try and fly through the gaps this time, I know how that goes. Okay, uh, uh, uh. And now... Huh? I don't care if it's damaged, I just need to launch it out of here. Right, let me make sure everything's topped up. All right. I can't see. I didn't turn my flashlight on. All right, everybody. Okay, everybody, say goodbye, ship. Bye-bye, ship. Is it this one? Bye-bye, ship. There it goes. I shot my ship into the sun. Oh, yay. Okay. I don't have a ship. Yeah. Well, I think that went well. Nope. Yes? Yes, no, maybe? No, no, not that way. But there is the way I can get inside. I don't, I don't want to go inside. Right, time to see if my magnificent plan will work. I don't think it will. But I'm going to try anyway. My first challenge is to get out of here. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm good. And before I somehow managed to miss the sun. I, I think I did. I think I did actually miss the sun. Yeah, my ship is just like four kilometers off in that direction. It did not actually get incinerated by the sun like I thought it would. <laughs> but yay, I, I got the achievement for throwing my, my ship away. It's in orbit now. There it goes. Right, well, my idea for now is... Can I get up there? to try and get up here somehow. That's my challenge. I need to get up. Up. Up these! Okay, yes, I'm up. Nice! Okay! Trees. Okay, this is not the area I thought it was. I thought there was a campfire here. There is not a campfire here, so my plan has not worked. But uh, there might be one somewhere else. I'm going to keep exploring. I, I may be thinking of the wrong planet, to be honest. I think the campfire I'm thinking of may be on the other twin. <laughs> but uh, I feel like the, there'll be like one campfire here, maybe. Right? Yeah, look! <gasps> yes, here we go, here we go. Okay, this is the real challenge now. The challenge is for me to just not die. Okay, just a little toasty. Roast a little marshmallow. A little bit more. Yum. Did that heal me? It did, it healed me. Okay, 
Okay, I took damage, I healed it. We're gonna take a little bit more damage. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna eat marshmallows to heal. <laughs> this is it, this is the strategy, we're gonna do it. I'm healed. The healing power of marshmallows. A thing that I, I, I tried as a joke the, at the one point because I was like, well, food is usually a healing thing in video games. I wonder if it heals in this, and it actually did. And I genuinely did not expect it to. Haha. <laughs> Haha. -ha. Uh, uh, achievements could also act as a break from DLC later on. Yeah, that's... That's what I'm going to do for most of them. I just wanted to try this right now because I, I just sent my ship out. And I was just like, I bet I can do this in this loop. Maybe. I can't wait to just like not quite take enough damage. But my plan now is rest of this loop. Is, is It's me burning myself and then eating a tasty marshmallow to recover <laughs> and stale fishies hello as well welcome welcome Blip. i jumped over the fire come on. come on oh a little spicy it feels wrong to be cooking these properly i want to just char grill them <laughs> Healing from marshmallows, would it out-heal the diabetes? Well, to be fair, I'm not human. I am I am a Harthian with very cool ears and four eyes. So Harthians might not even get diabetes. I have no idea what the the physical makeup is. I really love that marshmallows heal though. <laughs> this is so funny. This is also such a cheap way to do this, but I am not above being cheap. I don't have my ship, so I'm rather limited as to what else I can do. I just need to survive until the end of the loop. I need to make sure I don't accidentally set myself too much on fire. <laughs> Boom. But yeah, after, after this, we're going right back to me trying to figure out what to do with the satellite that I booped. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, my health is back. Whoop. Just a little bit at a time. I'm so nervous about taking too much damage. I feel like I shouldn't be. Like, thinking about the game and the amount of damage I have taken before. I've taken way more damage than this. I'm just being really super cautious. <laughs> Thank you for the... Wait, you both... You both added that. <laughs> Thank you for adding the quote. Ah. Oh. It's also so funny because I'm playing with a controller and every time I stand in the fire, my controller starts vibrating really violently. Just to let me know I'm in the fire. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if I put my controller next to my mic if it'll like... Pick up the sound of the vibration. Hold on, I want to try it. Oh, I'm, I've still got a little bit of damage too. I need another... Another marshmallow. I wonder how much they heal. <gasps> ship is cooked! Oh, goodbye, ship. Goodbye, ship. No, no, the ship is still in orbit. I've... I've... I've, I've made my own satellite! I've made a little ship satellite. It's just off in orbit now. That's quite cute. Okay, I'm gonna hold my controller next to my mic and see if you can hear the vibrating. I think a little bit of it came through. <laughs> It's really loud to me, but I don't think it's super loud on the mic. <laughs> yeah, I've got like a lot of noise gating and stuff. What if I actually have it like touching the mic? 
Um, this might be horrible. I apologize in advance. Let's see. <laughs> it's so quiet, I think. I think it's too quiet to, to hear properly. I, I guess you'll just have to trust me that it's very loud. <gasps> Wait, no, I know exactly what I can do. Hold on, I'm putting it on my desk. I'm gonna put it on my desk because then it's gonna just vibrate really loudly on my desk. <laughs> okay, still not as loudly as I expected it to, but either way. I wonder how much these heal. Cause if it's like a hundred a pop or something, I've I've probably reached a thousand now, but I'm still gonna roast myself a little bit <laughs> a little bit more a little bit more psychic salad hello thank you for the posture check and hydrate i will have a big stretch sit up straight and let me just do that Ouch. Okay, that was maybe a little more than is safe. And while I roast my marshmallows, I have a sip of my drink as well. Hmm. <laughs> Multitasking. Ba bum. Am I healed? I'm not fully healed. I need more marshmallow. But uh, thank you for the posture check and hydrate. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. I'm currently trying to get an achievement for taking and healing loads of damage in one run and not dying. And I'm I'm cheesing it. With fire. Hehe. <laughs> but yes, posture check is for everybody. And hydrate. Everyone oh oops. Crunchy. Everyone else, remember to sit up straight. Remember to have a stretch every now and then. Remember to have a little sippy of a drink. It doesn't have to be water. I, I, it kind of should be water, but I'm... I, I can't really preach that when I'm sat here drinking Monster. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Boom. Make me toasty. Wow. I love doing this. This is the, f the silliest way to spend a cycle. I love how I was just like, yeah, this this will be a short cycle because I won't have my ship. Um, Actually, what if... What if I do a silly achievement instead? <laughs> bum bum bum. Oh, it <laughs> didn't recognize me at first with what you assume is my regular model. Yeah, this is my... This is my normal model. I have two different outfits for this one as well. But this is my regular model, and I'm, I'm guessing you've seen me in my, my small bean form. <laughs> with my chibi model. <laughs> but yeah, it's still all me, anyway. The, the pink-haired cat girl. Oh, there's my other outfit. Here's my magical girl outfit. I, I have a cape on, but you can't, you can't really see it from this angle. But it is there, trust me. Am I healed? Yep. I feel like I've probably taken enough damage now. But I'm still gonna keep doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure. <laughs> yes, with the ruffles! Yeah, like, one of the things I really wanted was... Like, I was brainstorming magical girl ideas. And I was like, I feel like if I had a magical outfit, then it would be less magical girl and more tuxedo mask. And... My lovely, lovely model artist and great friend Addy said, say no more, and created the most incredible magical girl look for me. Complete with ruffle cravat as well. I love the ruffles so much. I'm a, I'm a big fan of ruffles. Bum, bum, bum. Hair change is a DLC now, huh? Uh, the hair change and outfit change have always been separate. <laughs> 
Victorian England magical girl. Wait, yeah, just give me like some cogs and stuff. I'll become like Victorian era steampunk magical girl. <laughs> Oh, mate. I'm fine. Cook me a little bit more. Yeah. There we go. <gasps> Big Utena vibes. Oh, th that is that is such a high compliment. Thank you. Yes. That is also what I'm going for. I'm I'm here for like the the Yuri magical girl. <laughs> uh, Princess Principal. I'd not heard of that. What is Princess Principle? I feel like that's... If it's related to the stuff we're talking about at the moment, it sounds like something I would be interested in. Oh, an anime. I've been, I've been really out of the loop with anime for quite a while. I used to watch loads of anime, but then I went through like a period of time where I just kind of had no time. And I've, I've, I've never really gotten back to it. I've... I've gone to the point where I don't really have enough free time to watch anime, and it makes me so sad because I love anime. <laughs> but uh, I'm more of a manga reader these days. I read a lot of manga. I like manga. I think I like it because, like, with manga I can just, like, put a bookmark in and then come back to it. Whereas with anime, I, I have to load up the video and then I can, like, remember where I was and pause it. But it's like more effort involved <laughs> and I'm less likely to do it. But yeah, I think like, what's the last anime I watched? I think it might, might oh no, it was Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Yeah, last, last anime I watched all the way through was Cyberpunk Edge Runners, and that was great. That was a lot of fun. I loved that. But there's so many coming out recently that I really, really need to watch. Like I really want to watch Free Run so many people have been talking about how great free run is i really really want to watch it and i really want to watch dungeon meshi as well because <laughs> dungeon meshi i've read quite a lot of the manga but I, i've heard that the anime is really great and i i love that series i love that series so much i love it i'm just gonna do this for the whole loop i'm just gonna keep hurting <laughs> hurting myself and then healing myself Oh, here we go. We're nearly free. Nearly free. Nearly free of this this toxic cycle. Why do, why do we hurt ourselves just to achieve? Let's do one more. One more. Marshmallow for the end of days. How many marshmallows have I eaten now? This is a lot of marshmallows. If I don't have the achievement through this, I, I may actually cry. <laughs> I feel like I've taken so much damage now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave it at this. I'm gonna leave it at this. I'm gonna play it safe. This should be enough. This should be good. Uh, you stopped after realizing you spend more time looking for animes than actually watching them. Yeah, I think that's part of it for me too. I. I used to watch a lot of... There was a thing me and Xander did for a while where we would just watch a bunch of episode ones of like every anime that came out and then we'd only watch the ones that seemed interesting. But we we watched so many crap episode ones doing that and it was a lot of fun. Anyway, goodbye ship. Ship is still in orbit. <laughs> Eight kilometers away. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. It's so Please. 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 The achievement didn't pop. <laughs> I don't think I got it. Unless it's like when I wake up, we will see. I may not have got it. No, I didn't get it. This is so sad. Oh, I wonder how much how much damage the fire even does then. I felt like I took so much damage there. How was that not a thousand? 
Well, anyway, that's enough putting off what I should be doing. I need to figure out what I'm doing with this satellite. Well, I'm, it was, it was probably at like 998. It probably was. It was probably right there and I, I should have stepped in one last time. <laughs> but it's okay. That just means there's, there's another achievement I still need to get. But yeah, there's, there's been so many incredible anime series. I've got like a huge long list of things that I want to watch at some point. I just haven't gotten around to it. I'm just really bad at watching things on my own. I, I do so much better if I'm watching things with somebody else. And usually with anime, I watch it with my brother. But recently we've kind of just been, we've just been watching loads of K-dramas instead. So we haven't been watching anime. But I think like when we're done with the K-dramas we're watching at the moment, I think I'm going to rope him into Dungeon Meshi because I really want to, I want to watch Dungeon Meshi so much. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, unfortunately the, the game has a couple achievements like this one that are kind of a pain to get. I'm, I'm okay with that though. I don't mind if the achievements are difficult to get. Like I'm, I'm a very patient and stubborn person. So if, if I have to keep playing the game for like a year to get them, I will do that. <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I, I like the idea of just trying to figure out what I'm doing. And then if things get too intense, like if I start to get too frightened with the frights that I can turn down, I will uh, end up just doing a, a silly achievement to break up the... <laughs> to break up the pain. Although I say that, I feel like trying to land on the sun station is just going to bring me more pain. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, you've had a few things on your anime backlog for ages, but keep putting them off because of your game backlog. <laughs> That's me too. That's me as well. I've, and then my game backlog as well. I'm, I've only been getting through that because I started streaming. Like if I had not started streaming, I, I don't think I would have played The Witness and The Talos Principle still. I would still be putting it off. And I adore those games. I love them so much. I genuinely could not believe how long it took me to play them. Because they are, they're just, they're just so much like my kind of games. Like as soon as I played them, I was just like, this is everything I want in a game. How have I not played it until now? <laughs> right, I think one thing I want to do is... I want... to go and talk to people again. Like, I, I talked to the two by the statue and they said the same things again. But I'm wondering if I can get more information about the satellite. If I maybe... talk to, uh... I've forgotten their name, the one in charge. <laughs> Or maybe, maybe over here. Like postcards from orbit. Like, could this be like photos from the... No, this is, this is the Sky Shutter satellite. Um, Cause I was wondering if some of this could be linked to the big satellite. But I don't think. Oh, I love the Timber Heart music so much. Also, Bunny Frog, hello, welcome. What are we attempting? Well, I was attempting the achievement to take a thousand damage and heal it and survive one loop, but I didn't quite make it, even though I, I, I was stepping into the fire so many times. I think I was being too cautious. I was taking like 10 damage at a time and then healing up. I need to... This is this just sounds bad. I was just gonna say I just need to really damage myself. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna leave that for now at least anyway. I'm gonna try and actually explore some more DLC stuff. But ba 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 ba. Actually blasting off in that thing, huh? Yeah, my odds of survival is statistically quite high. Yeah. There's Ma. Hello! Ba 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 ba, flames. 
flames everywhere. I don't know if anyone has any more dialogue. Alas, it's a tough one without planning. Yeah, see, it was a, it was a very spur of the moment thing. Uh, I got the achievement for blasting my ship off in the gravity cannon. <laughs> and then I was like, well, for the rest of this loop, I don't have a ship. What if I try and stand in the campfire and heal myself repeatedly until the sun explodes? But I didn't quite do enough damage. I think it was a good plan. But the fact that I started it like partway through the loop probably didn't help. But yeah, I love how many silly achievements there are too. Oh, and thank you for the hydrate as well. Let me have a sip of my monster. Waha. I'm fueled. My brain cells are fueled again. Anyway, I want to go in here. Because we have our new exhibit. And I have seen the satellite now in person and um, broken it in person. Ba 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 ba. Yep. Oh, so the, the satellite makes the maps. Oh. So thanks to a recent upgrade, the Deep Space Satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. So that would explain why my map stopped working when I smacked into it by accident. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Right, I want to go up here. Oh, no? Nobody up here? Wait. Oh no, I, I forgot. They're both down there. They're both staring at the statue that opened its eyes. I'm silly. Oh, look at this though. Oh, look how cool it is. Look how cool it is. Where's, where's the satellite? It's so, I can't go any further up. I can only rotate it this much. There it is. Look how look how high up it is. It's like right up here at the moment. Oh. Yeah, I need to figure out what to do with the satellite cuz I've I got the little recording. Was that Gabro? I think it was Gabro. Uh maybe I should go visit Gabro. <laughs> <laughs> Smack satellite map stops working. <laughs> Surprise Pikachu. <laughs> See, the thing is, I was so excited about seeing a cool satellite, my brain completely glossed over the part that said it creates the maps. And so I forgot that. <laughs> but I will never forget that again now, on the plus side. Right, we're already a little way into the loop now for me having a wander around. But I think it might be worth heading to Giant's Deep. I th I think Gabbro was Giant's Deep. I think they were there. We, we will soon find out. <laughs> so that's going to be my plan for now. I'm, I need to find out more information because I don't think I can, like, access the satellite. I don't know. I need to, I need to investigate more. I need to have more of a look around. Because there might be stuff that's added in other places to match the satellite. White hole. Oh my god. Let me go. I wish I could just select what a. Like, something oh no that this is the white hole station okay never mind i was like why can't i select this this one little thing on there and it's because it is the white hole sun station and when i go here it's the white hole sun station they are combined oh feeling a bit sick oh i hope you feel better soon mel but thank you for stopping in <laughs> thank you for popping in and i hope you have a lovely rest with sweet dreams. And Dima, thank you for the posture check. I will have a big stretch. 
Bleh. Stretch my arms out. Right, let's head to Giant's Deep. Where is it at? Over here, right. Off we go. I will autopilot this one. Seems safe enough ish. <laughs> Oh, hi there. Oh, look at all the explosions. It's the... The orbital probe cannon station just falling apart. Oh, no, it's the thingy. Is that... Wait, hold on. What was that? I saw loads of explosions. That doesn't seem... Hold on, what if I just keep going full speed? What if I just keep going really, really fast, and I just go boom, and I just go boom? Not fast enough. Okay. I tried. I tried. Right. Is there scabros? Oh, there's, there's a campsite. Oh, that was... <laughs> that was a little heavy. A little bit of a heavier landing than I, I meant to do. Well, that's okay. I can fix it. Is that all that was damaged? I think so. No, I don't think this is where the camera is. Is it? Unless they're on this side? Oh, I'm woobling all over the place. Oh yeah, Gabbro is here. Nice. Okay. Oh, I think this island might be about to go somewhere. Hi, Gabbro. Uh, I I found something. I found a lot. Do I just want to talk to them about everything? I kind of do. I don't remember. I, I think I have talked to them about quite a few of these things, but I don't think I've talked to them about others. So I'm just going to go through all of it because I, I have no memory. All right, I reached the inside of Statue Island. So the Namai created those head statues to record memories, huh? Yeah, I could see the Namai doing that. Not sure what for, but it seems like their sort of thing. Do you think the statues are recording our memories then? Because I remember that one on the beach looked at me funny. That must be my memory, friend. Hello again, again. Uh, I found the source of the time loop. Yeah, use all the options. I always, I always like going through all the options, but I, there's always a little part of me as well that's just like, are people gonna get mad if I just reread stuff I've already read? But then, I think it's fine. I think it's fine to re-remember. <laughs> I found the source of the time loop. Wait, whoa, really? The Namai carved out Ash Twin and built a time loop device inside? That is wild. A little outer wild. Huh? I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, now we know what's causing the loop then. And if it's caused by a device, that must mean it had to be switched on, right? Huh. Hey, what do you think would happen if you turned off the time loop? Like, there's a part of me thinks maybe you shouldn't, what with the sun blowing up and all. Then again, who wants to spend eternity being blown up by the sun? Well, I'm no time loop expert. I'm just going to sit here and ponder the intricacies of time and space. Maybe take a nap, too, if I feel like it. Yeah, that one was definitely a new dialogue option. <laughs> But, uh, I wonder what would happen if you turn it off. Um, I tried that. It's not good. I found the mind masks inside the Ash Twin project. You're saying the statues were made so memories could be sent back in time? I guess that makes sense, considering we both have our memories of every loop we've gone through. Wait, then it's just our memories being sent back in time to us, right? Then, are we really experiencing multiple time loops or not? Oh, don't get started with this. No. Gabbro, please. I cannot start thinking about that. That's, I'm going to be gone forever. 
That's pretty deep. Like, maybe our consciousnesses have been through all these loops, but maybe our bodies haven't, because technically the loops never happened. Meaning we're receiving memories of things that will never happen to us. Cool, huh? <laughs> it is really cool, honestly. It, it's so cool. I, I, I love the whole concept of this game. Right, what else? Uh, I found what happened to the orbital probe cannon. Whoa, that's the cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop? For real? Did you figure out why? <laughs> Over enthusiasm. Over enthusiasm. It's kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slate or Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised the Namai built something that actually broke. Come to think of it though, broke might be the wrong word because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. It's true, it, it, it has been. It's shooting successfully every single time and adding to the collection in the mask. The data collection. Uh, I found your quantum poem. Oh yeah, the one in the woods. I remember writing that. Pretty fun, right? It works out to a good 24 poems. When I'm done exploring, I want to make some more quantum art. Maybe some kind of creature sculpture that just, like, shows up while your back is turned and scares the daylights out of you. Is that what's going to happen? Is that going to be... <laughs> is, is the DLC going to have some, like, weeping angels scenario? Oh, I'm, I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. Right, uh, I found your ship. Oh, cool. So it's floating in the ocean, huh? Did it look like it was having a good time? I think it was. Yeah. Uh, how do you stay so calm in the face of repeated impending death? Oh, yeah, that was the meditation. Nope. No, I'm, I know how to meditate. I'm fine. What are you doing out here? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that one's... I've seen. Where should I explore? Yep. I've explored all of that. See you later. Okay, nothing about the satellite. But I'm still so glad I went to talk to them. Ah, <laughs> uh, do I just try and go out to the satellite again and try and not touch it? I wonder. Boop, boop, boop. Right, where is the satellite at the moment? Whereabouts are you? Oh, over here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try and head to the satellite again. I <laughs> just don't blink. Blink and you're dead. God, th that, that whole episode of Doctor Who is just, I, I think it's my favorite Doctor Who episode of all time. It's so good. Oh, there's something you can figure out on the island that you don't think I can figure out anywhere else that someone wanted to say after the main game. But it needs the island to be lifted into space. Ah! I see. Ooh, I might have to go back and check that out at some point then. Yeah, because it's like, I say I'm doing, like, DLC stuff now, but my intention is, like, it's not just DLC stuff. It's, like, tying up loose ends. It's getting all of the little bits I missed along the way as well. So, yeah, that's that. I, I definitely will go back and try and try and wait and see what happens when the islands are lifted into space but yeah i'm gonna head head to the satellite i'm going quite fast so i need to be ready to slow down but i would i'm, I'm gonna be more careful i want to be like more aware of the speeds i'm going at i'm learning i'm learning how to fly it's only taken me like 30 hours, but I'm, I'm going to learn how to fly. I promise. All right, we're getting closer. When we get to like a thousand, I'm going to slow down. Slow. No, that, that was too late. It's okay. It's okay. I'll just go a bit slower. A second? That seems reasonable-ish. And 
and start slowing down now. I'm still going very fast. I'm still going very fast. Okay, I'll slow down. Okay, okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. 44 per second. Yeah, this... Slow down, slow. Okay. A matched velocity. Okay. Let's try to get a good look. Get a good look at the satellite. Matching velocity with it. Okay, so I've, I've listened to the... The little recording device. Do I go out and have a look? might be a little risky. Yeah, because we've got the... There, that's... Yeah, that's what's beaming the radio out. Look. You can see the, the dish. There's the deep space radio. Anything else? There's nothing quantum about it, which is good to know. Uh, I'm going to go out there. <laughs> Against my better judgment. I want to get a little closer. This is going to be probably not the best idea. I'm, I'm going to be so careful. But I want to see... What that says. That's a coordinate. Is that where we are right now? I think that might be our current coordinate. Is there anything around the other side? I'm just. Whoop. Yeah, I think that's probably the current coordinates. What else is going on here? I want to explore it so closely, but I am so scared of breaking it. Because it's literally a barrel with some things taped to it. I feel like I will break things. Oh. <laughs> okay. Is there anything I can do if I get really close? There's like tally marks on the power thing. Or just like scratches? Oh, what have I done? I am here in, in the vastness of space. It's helpful. It's like the, yeah, the degrees are changing. Is it just like... Hmm. Let me double check what this was again. Yeah, Gabro checking on the satellite. Yep, yeah, the lens. There's something wrong with the lens on it. Which part of it is the lens? Is this the lens? <laughs> I keep moving like so fast, it's, it's scary. I'm wondering if this... I can hear, like, staticky sounds, and I'm wondering if something is broken. I think something could be broken, but I don't know what. I don't know if the sounds are just my ship. <laughs> oh, I think it's just my jetpacks. It's, it's just my boosters. Never mind. Never mind! I'm a clever, smart person. There's got to be something I'm missing here. Deep Space Radio.
video. Oh my goodness, a raid, a raid, a raid. Let me pause a second, oh my goodness. <laughs> Heo, hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome here, welcome to uh, me floating around in space. Not sure what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> How's it going? Oh my goodness, wait, you were playing content warning? Oh, I hope you made beautiful videos. I love that game. I want to play more content warning. That game is incredible. How's it going? Welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. I hope you had a fun stream. I hope you had a good time. And welcome. Welcome to Outer Wilds DLC. I have a satellite and I don't know what I'm doing with it. I'm kind of just floating around it at the moment. <laughs> But welcome on in to anyone who's new here. Hello, I'm Liri. I'm a pink haired cat girl from the UK and I love comfy games and puzzle games, which is a, a little bit different from the <laughs> the horror, the horror side of things. But I don't know. I think this game is going to have horror because I've just started the DLC for Outer Wilds, which is a game I finished about a month ago. And I've just come back to it today. And with the new DLC, there is a new option to uh, reduce frights. So there are going to be frights in this game. I don't know what they are, but I have the option to reduce them if I want, and I'm not going to. <laughs> but thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. That is absolutely fine. Yes, go eat. Have lots of lovely food. I hope the, I hope the stream went well, and I hope the donathon's going well as well. I hope you're, you're reaching all of the goals. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. And anyone who came in from the raid, hello. <laughs> Yo, truly is a friend to the English. <laughs> oh, I, 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 yes, I am, I am English. That, it's, it's true. <laughs> but yeah, I hope the content warning went well. I, I love seeing like the playbacks of the videos in that game so much. It, it's so silly. <laughs> I've actually got a few videos i played content warning with some of my friends a couple weeks back now a couple of weeks was it a couple i think it was a couple of weeks ago it might have been one week i don't know time is fake but uh our game actually bugged out so i grabbed all of like the raw files from like the temporary settings things before we close the game so i have all of the components to our video but I have to convert and splice them together and I haven't done that yet so uh, th there is there is lost footage out there but it, it will be out eventually <laughs> uh, oh in the future when you'll make a game you'll make a reduced frights option in the settings but zero scary elements in the actual game <laughs> wait that'd be so funny that'd be like the biggest troll just have an option of just like uh, reduce scary moments and then everyone's just waiting for the scary moments to happen but there just aren't any <laughs> that'd be so mean i would be anxious the whole time it's it's the one thing with this like when i start exploring more of the dlc stuff i feel like i'm going to be paranoid the whole time i'm just going to be waiting for the frights i'm just going to be waiting for the fearsome moments <laughs> Right, but let's let's resume and oh. I feel like there's gotta be something I'm missing here. Like something going wrong with the lens. Oh this this looks like a lens. That looks like a lens to me. It seems fine. Yeah, it doesn't seem damaged at all. I wonder if I could get a lens from somewhere to install on this thing. I can't seem to interact with it in any other way. And I think that if I boop it, I will break my map again, which I would rather not do. But yeah, mysteries. So many mysteries. I'm going to go back to my ship before it floats away. <laughs> Uh, 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 I, can't, uh, I can't navigate in space. Let me in, let me in. Okay. Okay, I'm in my ship. <laughs> phobia, phobia. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's a thing though. I feel like it's like if I'm anticipating something, like I honestly, that I feel like that's the basis of a lot of horror though. Like 
a lot of horror games are built about around like the expectation like when the thing jumps out at you you have like the jump scare and then the tension is gone but the actual scary parts are like building up the tension it's before the scares actually happen that you get like the the tense scary feelings so it'd be so interesting if there was a game like that where it just builds up into something scary the whole time and you're just on edge for everything and then it turns out there, there isn't anything. <laughs> uh. I love this though. Oxygen refill. Spot a tree, walk towards it, enjoy. Wow, we're already at the end of the loop. I really did nothing. No, I don't I don't think I did nothing. I'm I'm glad I got to properly explore the satellite. But uh, I'm I need to figure something else out here. Like this There's I don't know, what did that say? So it's like yeah, cuz it's it's changing. Okay, I booped it. The map's offline. Let's boop it even more. I'm bringing you along with me. We're going this way. We're going this way. You're going that way. Where's it going? There it goes. It's just... Look, it's just spiralling out of control now. Look, it's, it's the end of the loop. There you go. Goodbye. Where's it going? Can I boop you into the sun? Oh! Oh, I broke... Oh, no. I broke the electrical systems in my ship. I just like fully zapped my whole ship. That's not great. That wasn't very smart of me. Uh, good job. The sun's exploding. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't realize it would have like a, a self-defense thing. Like. It zapped me as I booped into it. Like, it was okay while I was pushing it, but when I, like, fully booped, it zapped me. Unless I just broke it so much that I exposed electrical cables or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Chuny Flow, for you, the scariest things are the anticipation or it happening in scenarios you didn't expect anything scary to happen in. Yeah, I'm... I feel like I'm always, like... I'm, I'm really prone to, like, the anticipation. I get so scared when I'm, like, expecting something to happen. As soon as the thing actually happens, I usually just jump, laugh a little bit, and then I'm, I'm not really scared. I don't really get scared very easily, I don't think. I get very easily startled. I am just a cat. I am, I am a cat, and the smallest thing will make me jump. I jump at everything. But it doesn't actually really scare me. Like, it's it's more just like, I don't expect something, it makes me jump a mile. And then my heart beats a little bit and I'm like, that made me jump. But it's, it's not really like scary. The things that get me most are like, existential horror and like psychological horror. The kind of stuff that plays with your mind a bit. Like, there's nothing actively scary happening, but then, you, it's stuff that makes you think about scary stuff. <laughs> huh, right. I'm trying to think of what I should do here. Wait, hold on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Go to the museum a third time. Because I want to check something. Wait, honestly, it might be faster to just fly my ship to the museum. <laughs> Instead of walking. Instead of walking all the way there, I'm just gonna... Just send my ship right over there. I don't know if there's anywhere I can land it, though. Thinking about it. Oh, that's fine. I can just, uh... Land it right... Um, perfect landing. Perfect... Uh, flawless parking. Perfect parking. Look at that. Incredible. <laughs> what a great time for a raid. Hi, raiders. Welcome in, Sizume. Welcome in, Sapphic Sunday raiders. Hello. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a good stream. 
I love that you could join right as I park my ship perfectly. Flawless party. You don't need to use this path. It is fine. It is not a problem. But welcome in. I hope your stream went well. Thank you for bringing the raid this way. Welcome, welcome. See, what I want to do is I want to look at this satellite and, like, compare it to the one that I was looking at out there. Like, it all looks the same. There's nothing here that looks different to the one I saw, I think. Hmm. Right, there's the first photo. Oh, wait, I should check out the, uh, the radio tower. I should check out the radio tower because it's, it's all about the satellites and the radio signals. There might be something there. I'm gonna go radio tower direction. <laughs> I mean, who would give me a ticket? Right, nobody because, um, nobody will give me a parking ticket because I'm already out of here. And they can't catch me. <laughs> Let me get up into space before anyone, before I get in trouble. There we go. Look at that. I'm fine. Nothing, nothing wrong. <laughs> also, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you. I will have a sip of my drink. And thank you for the confetti too. <laughs> have a little sip of my monster. Oh, and I get head pats while I drink. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Bunny Frog. Also, I meant to say to Bunny Frog, I love your username. <laughs> I love bunnies and frogs. It's perfect. Oh, also Primal Zed, you'll fill my parking meter. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot, but that also only works if I'm actually parked in a registered parking bay. But it's fine, I'm sure. Right, where was the radio tower? I'm flying at a really woobly angle. I, I keep tilting my head. <laughs> I know it's somewhere on this planet. Maybe if I get a bit higher up. Oh, the sun is so bright. Right, because that's the crater where the seed fell. Here it is! There it is. Oh, I'm, I'm going quite fast. There we go. Yeah, perfect parking. Uh, here it is. <gasps> the door is open. I, I'm pretty sure this door was not open before. Okay, okay. Okay, it, it only took me two hours. But I'm making progress. Here we go. It's DLC time. Oh, satellite angle 248. Satellite angle 350. Satellite angle 40. It's so interesting seeing the, the the solar system at all these angles. Wait, <laughs> satellite angle 137. Hi. Who's that? Who are you? <laughs> we shall soon see. Also, L, hello. Welcome, welcome. Glad you made it to watch me play the DLC. <gasps> yes, you made it in perfect timing because I've I've not discovered anything yet. Um, I was I was doing a few silly achievements, and then I went to go investigate the satellite and proceeded to boop it out of orbit. <laughs> and that's the progress I've made so far. I've just now come up to the, the radio tower station, and this is all the progress I've made. Right, let's see what's on here. And we're recording! <clears throat> It's been two days since the launch of the Deep Space Satellite, and I'm about to view the first batch of photos. Let the record show that on this historic day, Outer Wilds Ventures has... Ah, oh, they're printing, they're printing. Here they come. Stars above, will you look at that? There's Brittle Hollow, and look, look there, that's Hollow's Lantern. And there's Giant's Deep, and, and the Quantum Moon. I'm speechless, completely speechless. Every single astral body in our magnificent solar system, looking stunning from every angle in each of these three images. And in colour, no less. Now this is art. 
I could stare at these photos forever. Doesn't Timber Hearth look tiny from... Hold on. What is that? That can't be right. That's... I mean, that's not even possible. Am I interpreting this... And I am I interpreting this photo correctly? What's even stranger is it doesn't show up in either of the other ones, just this one. Well, there must have been an equipment malfunction, I suppose. Only sensible explanation for it. I'll radio Gabro and ask them to go examine the satellite's lens for defects. Oh, ship log! I, I finally have a ship log entry. Yes. Yes, all right. So what is the strange thing? Is it the person? <laughs> Who is this? No, this is the Outer Wilds Venture logo. This is someone examining the lens, I think. So is there anything off about these? Right, we've got the twins. We've got uh, Brittle Hollow with the, the big uh, awful uh, sudden nasty moon. We've got... That looks like Timber Hearth and the Atoll Rock and the Quantum Moon, perhaps. There's the Interloper. There is Dark Bramble. There is Giant's Deep. I finally remembered the names of all the planets. It's only taken me a million years. And over here... Whoa! so wobbly and bright. Okay, this time we've got the Quantum Moon next to Giant's Deep. We've got the Twins. We've got Timber Hearth and the Atoll Rock. We've got uh, Brittle Hollow and Blasty Dark Bramble Interloper. Yes. This one we have... Okay, so Giant's Deep Twins Quantum Moon Interloper. Is it that? What is this? Hold on. Yeah. There are the planets. There's the planets. What is that? What is eclipsing the sun here? Hello? Uh, 40 degrees satellite angle. I need to find the, the 40 degree satellite angle and then look towards the sun. What? What is that? Yeah, I was like, that That doesn't look like a helmet head. That is a, a thing. What is eclipsing the sun here? All right, uh, hold on. Uh, 40, 40 degrees. Yes, I did remember. <laughs> yeah, that that is the, the sun nasty moon. <laughs> That's the official name for it now. <laughs> ah, eclipse, but it's not even cloudy. Oh, did was it cloudy for you when the eclipse happened? I'm so sorry if that's the case. Here we go, radio tower. A radio tower designed to receive photos taken by the deep space satellite. There are several photos of the entire solar system hanging on the walls. Hornfels noticed something strange in one of the photos, but concluded equipment malfunction was the only sensible explanation. Okay. I wonder if I can talk to Hornfels again. Like about the photo thing, or if he will, or if they will just talk about the statue again, because they were just standing next to the statue. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh no, that's the moon. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's just cloudy. <laughs> it's just cloudy. It's just the moon. We're fine. I had a moment of what is that? Hold on. It's just cloudy. It was the moon. Right. Let's get back. I want to try talk to Hornfells. And see if they do say anything different. If they don't, at least I can say I tried. Ba -ba -ba. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's park a little bit better this time, maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah! Oh, it is! Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! I actually parked! 
Oh, all of the little feet are on the ground. Look at that. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Right. Hello. Ba 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 ba. Well, I've I've already done all of this. I've yeah, I've already been through all of this dialogue. There's nothing new. Please, I I really would not like to have to go back to Feldspar again. I I don't feel like I want to see Angler Fish at the moment. I will if I have to, but I don't want to. <laughs> no wonder I smashed into it so many times. Yeah, it, it was just cloudy every time. Right, well, I think my best bet is to figure out where 40 degrees is. What is that? Hold on. Oh, that's the little satellite! Can I boop this out of the sky? I, I'm pretty sure there's an achievement for booping this out. I'm gonna break it. There we go! Deorbit the Harthian satellite. I did it! I got another achievement! Yay! <laughs> Yay! I love that I just spotted it and I was like, I can, I can cause trouble here. Hold on. What am I stuck on? Okay. I have no idea what I was stuck on, but we're fine. Oh, you found a quote that you really like. Every planet in this game is meant to inv invoke a different fear. Dark Bramble invokes a fear of Dark Bramble. <laughs> that is the most true thing I've ever heard. It's true though. It's so interesting to think about. It's like Ash Twin is like all of like the teleportation. There's the 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 fear of like wherever you're going to end up there. Uh, Ember Twin is like the fear of being buried alive, which is very real and true. Brittle Hollow, like everything's falling apart. You can fall into the black hole. Uh, Giants Deep. There's water and cyclones. Timber half. Um, the fear of a boring life. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ash is the fear of being stuck on the end game for 10 hours. Wait, yeah, you're right. Yeah, Ash Twin just invokes the fear of, oh, no, I know where I have to go and I'm going to hate it. A fear of society. Wait, yeah. The, the timber hearth is the social anxiety fear. <laughs> oh, oh, it's brilliant. Right, so... Let me get... out of the orbit of timber hearth for a second. Let's have a look. You're over here at the moment. I'm gonna head towards the satellite oh maybe not uh that, that i don't like seeing the sun i i just do not like the sun sorry <laughs> i do not like the sun the sun is the fear of the sun okay i'm like really really far out now because i'm like trying to skew away from the sun so much So it's it's so far away. It's really far away. But yeah, Dark Bramble is just everything about it is horror. It's it's it is the horror planet. It's like everything has been smothered up by this parasitic life form that has destroyed everything. There's terrifying anglerfish. Um, the, the, it's it's got like weird parallel universe space shenanigans inside. It's it's just a combination of pure terror. Okay, 20 kilometers away. I need to go a little bit faster than this. Go like one kilometer a second. And then I'll slow down when we're like five kilometers away. Okay, I'm going to start to slow down now. Slow down, slow, slow down, slow down. No, I can't slow down fast enough. I'm s I am still can't quite judge. I'm getting better at it, though. I'm definitely not as far off as I used to be. See, I'm only six kilometers away now. 
I you literally did everything on all other planets before even getting near Bramble. Yeah, understandable. Very understandable. It's terrifying. All right. Slow down. No, I'm going too fast again. I knew it. I'm going way too fast. I'm so silly. I'm so silly. I could the core oh the core of the the thingy the what's it called the 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 interloper did you do that before before uh, dark bramble because if that's the case <laughs> that's so funny I think that's like one of the the last things I ended oh wait no do you mean like the giant's deep core I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer. I'm, I'm mastering my piloting. Oh, all the cores, there's so many cores. Okay, so it's only like a few meters away now. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Look at that, look at that. Look at that, I'm learning how to fly my ship. Right, what angle are we at? It's gonna be like as far away from 40 as possible, isn't it? Oh, I booped it, no, I booped it. I booped it. Well, either way, it's not this angle. Ha. Oops. Right. Well, I, I wonder if there's a way I'd be able to, like, memorize where all of the planets were. And just go around myself. I'm just gonna, like, keep going around. Wait, is there something there? Oh, that's Dark Bramble. Never mind. Yeah, there is something there. I don't want it. Oh, yeah, my map's offline now as well. I'm so silly. I'm like, what if I just follow the path that the satellite would take until something eclipses the sun? <laughs> but yeah, I don't think I've quite got this. I'm just gonna keep going like up and down around the sun like from below to see if anything happens if I if I go like underneath and around <laughs> like maybe I'll spot something oh no I, I exited the solar system oopsie Ah. Into the sun with me, naughty booper. It's what I deserve. It's what I deserve. I just ruined everyone's maps. <laughs> uh, you do think I need uh you you needed Feldspar's advice about the core. Ah, yes. So almost everything. Yeah, I was I've gotta say, I was so impressed with myself how I managed to uh find Feldspar so quickly. Like I'm genuinely, like, knowing what I know now about the anglerfish and dark bramble in general, genuinely so impressed with myself that I just followed that harmonica the whole time. I just, I just followed that harmonica all the way and I somehow managed to avoid the pain. What is that? That's Timbaha. Okay. So then that's the Atoll Rock. There's the twins. That's Giant Steep, that's Dark Bramble. Is there anything else around that I don't recognize? I don't think so. I'm still gonna keep flying. I, I, th there's gonna be something I don't recognize. I gotta see. Ah, oh, for a while you thought Bramble was the eye because it looked like one. It does kind of. I could see that. It's when you, when you look at it from a distance. I think that's like a very fair assumption to make. What is going on here? Okay, yeah, that's Brittle Hollow falling apart. That's the sun also falling apart. It's the interloper making everyone else fall apart. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think this is the one, but I'm just going to take this opportunity to explore the solar system. Like, I've messed everything up. I don't have my maps. We're just going to fly around for a bit and see if I see anything. Because see, oh, wait, I'm thinking, like, with the angles, if, like, 270 was when it was, like, sideways, then 40 degrees would probably be, like, right at the top, maybe? I think I could be as far as possible from it as I could be. I'm not sure. I'm 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 just lost in space at the moment. It's really cool seeing things from different angles though. Like I'm just going below the sun. Oh, here's the music. Here we go. It's the end. The end is nigh. Ground control to major dawn. <laughs> it's brittle hollow. It's. Oh! I flew too far away. Is that the quantum moon? Could be the quantum moon. I don't know. Either way, I'm too far away from anything. I haven't spotted anything unusual so far, so... Okay, well, I'm closer to Giant's Deep and Dark Ramble now. That's Tim Behalf. That's Ash Twin. Yep. And now... Yay, Quantum Moon! Wait, yeah! A friend. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye, everybody. Can I use this moment to lock on to something? <laughs> That's Brittle Hollow. Uh, there's a round. Anything around. Oh, it's giant deep. Whoa, whoa! That's a glowy huh? Was that the quantum moon? As the explosion happened. What was that? What was that? I I must... I must go about this in a far more efficient manner. <laughs> right, I wonder if from the photos I can... I can use math. <laughs> if I can use maths to figure out where I would need to be. Maybe. Let's have a let's have a crunchy marshmallow. Right, back we go, back we go. I need to I need to figure out where to look at the sun from at that 40 degree angle. Cause the fact that it only showed up in that one, like from that one angle, is very interesting. Right, so let's go straight here. This is like the other side now. I've not done this like from here. I'm just gonna autopilot. I'm feeling lazy. I'm gonna go this way and see what angle it is around here and hopefully not boop it out of orbit again. But uh, do I have properly tinted glasses? Looking at the sun can hurt you, you know. Don't worry, I have four eyes. I'm a Harthian. I have four eyes. And with the amount of staring at the sun I've been doing, uh, I don't think it's damaging my eyesight. But even if it is, um, I only have like 20 minutes anyway. It's fine. <laughs> okay, here it is. Close very slowly. Very slowly. Get out of my ship and got my suit. Yes, go have a look. Right, what angle are we at? Oh, it's in the single digits. Ah, uh, oh, 
16, 17. This is good. This is good. We're, we're, we're almost at 40. If, I, if we just wait here, we just keep following it around, it'll be at 40 soon and we can have a look in the right direction. Like 22. I'm just going to wait here. Gonna wait here. I'm I'm matching velocity. We I'm floating along with the satellite. I <laughs> keep the boops holstered. I'm trying my best. <laughs> I don't want to boop it. But even if I do boop it, at least we're close here at the moment. It's much closer to 40 than it was before at like 270. <laughs> right, we're at 31. We're at 32. I'm going to start looking towards the sun now. Right. 34. 35. 36. 37. Oh. Kind of nerve wracking. There. It's this. What is that? What is that? I want to... I need to be in my ship. What is that? Hold on. Oh, I, I wish I was in my ship. I'm so far from my ship. This is so bad. I'm going to lose sight of it now. I can tell. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose sight of it because I wasn't in my ship and I can't go fast enough. Ah. Come on, come on, come on. I see it. I see it. What is that? I'm going... I took a photo of it. I, in case it is quantum. If it is a quantum thing, I've taken a photo of it now. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh, please don't exit the... I see you still. Please, please. What is this? Oh, here. Here? Oh. Wait, it's like a void. What? What is happening? Wait, what? 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 Huh? Hold on. What the heck just happened? I've lost it. It's like a void. It literally creates a void. I should have approached slower. Where is that void gone? Just like a, a void shape over the sun. What happened? I've lost it now. I'm doing it again. I'm going to stay in my ship and I'm just going to wait by the satellite until it lines up. I will be ready. I am going to be ready in my ship so I can actually fly there before it stops like blotting out the sun. <laughs> that was so strange. What was that? It, it literally made like a void space, like... Oh, oh, I'm so intrigued. I need, to, I need to know what's going on. Why? I thought it was like... Some kind of... Celestial body... Blocking things out, but there was nothing there. There was nothing there. This is so fascinating. Right, so it was from like... It's going in this direction, so it's like from here, but then like up a bit from here. Right, okay. Let's try this. <laughs> try. Try this again. <laughs> that, this is... I'm I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm excited. Like I thought I'd be able to lock onto it, so the fact that I couldn't lock onto it threw all of my plans out the window. <laughs> but yeah, I think I just go here, but I stay in my ship until I see it. And then 
I'm gonna go straight there, but I'm gonna go slower this time. I'm gonna go really, really slowly when I start getting close to it. All right. Going along with the satellite now. I'm just gonna follow the satellite for a bit. We are traveling together, you and me. Traveling together. I'm gonna lock lock to your velocity. We're, we're going together. Just gonna wait here for a bit. Go like this way. There. Okay, this is it. This is how we are traveling through space together. Boop, ye not! <laughs> I'm not gonna risk getting too close. I'm just following it along. I'm just matching the velocity. I'm tethering myself along. And I'm gonna have a sip of monster. It just completely blocked the sun though, which is so interesting. Oh, well, at least we get to enjoy the space music though. I love this game. At least I know now as well, I'm not looking for a planet. I'm looking for a nothing. I'm looking for the absence of planet. <laughs> it's like, because it's not a black hole, I wouldn't say. It doesn't feel like a black hole. It's just, oh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's just like a little void of nothingness. I can see it like blotting out. Here we go. It is haiku time. Thank you for the haiku redeem. Haiku for the absence. It is not a thing. It is the lack of a thing. That's what I'm after. Here, here. I'm going like straight line towards it. I'm gonna slow down. Slow down. Gotta go up a bit. I'm gonna miss it. I don't want to miss it. It's here. It's like right here. Flying into it. <gasps> Where am I? <gasps> oh, oh my. Elle, I just jumped a mile. I just. I just leapt off my seat. <laughs> Oh my goodness, where am I? Where is this? What's going on? This is wild. Oh my god, I can't see you. Oh, if this is scary. Is this the frights? I'm so scared. Where am I? Oh! I hit something. I've landed. I am on ground. Oh, this is... I am terrified. What is happening? Where am I? What is this? Where, what is happening? I'm, I'm getting out. Where am I? What is this? Where am I? What's going on? What the heck is this? Hello? This does not look Namai. With reduced frights, it is just a newt. I love. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna regret having all the sound alerts on for this, aren't I? I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna fully regret this. I'm not turning them off though. I'm not. I'm not a coward. I'm not a baby. I'm a little bit of a baby. Whoa, error, unknown language. <gasps> yep, like I thought. This is not no mine. Eight. <gasps> Eight. What is this? What's going on? Huh? Oh, I've got to turn my flashlight on. I'm so silly. No wonder it was so dark. 
Ha! <laughs> Reduced price to sable sound alerts. That might end up being the case. Oh, wait. Oh. I turned my flashlight on and it started woobling. I need to line it up, don't I? What do I need to line up? What am I... Oh, I've shut myself in here now. Okay, just keep going around until it opens this door. Yep. Yeah! Oh, look at that! Oh, okay. Mechanic unlocked. Goodbye, my ship, I guess. Uh... Um, oh. okay, I'm back in here. Oops. I didn't actually mean to. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to do that. I just got scared. Oh, hold on. Oh. oh, I missed it. I'm so bad with these doors. Wow. There we go. What? What is going on here? Ooh. 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 This feels like like a, a a cult or something. Feels like like a Lovecraftian Cthulhu beastie's about to pop out at me. Rotate. Oh. Ooh. Uh. Um. Wait. Oh. Do I? Is this how I steer? Do I steer? Oh. What is that? Where am I? All right, okay, I'm, I'm trying to steer. I think I steer with the lights to turn it. Oh. Oh, oh it grabbed me. <gasps> what is this? This is, whoa, this is wild. Whoa, there's like a whole place here. Whoa. Whoa. What? Oh. What the heck? I don't understand this language. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, hello. Ship log updated. Yes. I would hope it wow. would with what is going on here. Oh, whoa. There's a whole little, like, village going on here. What is... Whoa! Okay, I guess I'm... Ex it's exploring time. It's exploring time. This is... Whoa. What happened here? Oh, they're tall. Whoever was here, they are very tall. I'm, I'm so small. Looks like a game. What's over here? Ooh! Oh, whoa, they look cool. Lantern. I don't know why I have a lantern, but I guess I have a lantern now. Can I do something with with it? Hmm. There's an option to drop lantern. Can I drop it, like, in... Do I drop it in the hole? Oh, I've, like... Hold on. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna pick it up. If I can pick up the lantern, I'm taking this with me. But... Oh, it looks a bit broken. Wait, I swear I saw something really red just now, and now I just cannot see it. I'm... Okay, what's in here? Just another house? Yeah, that... Whoever, whoever these people are, they're very big. Oh, ooh. Hold on. Ha! <gasps> it's light mechanics. Okay. All right. All right. I'm getting the hang of this. Considering how many light mechanics there are, I think there are going to be frights in the dark. That is the impression I am getting. Whoa, this place is so cool. Whoa, okay. Use interface? 
Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, do I need the light? Is it like a projector? Maybe I need to like light this up somehow. I have a lantern, but it's a little broken. Yeah, I think I need light to make that work. Hmm. Insert lantern. Okay, it's broken. I don't know if this will work. But maybe? Yeah, that's definitely... I think it's definitely broken, but maybe. Maybe it'll work a little bit. Maybe not. Unless I have to, like, power it up. No, I think I just need to find a flashlight that actually works. Instead of a broken one. <laughs> it clearly works. Yeah, oh, look at them. They look so cool. It is so dark here. Yeah, I need to I need to find a lantern that is working. Oh, there's a stick. What is this? Oh, slide reel. <gasps> oh, maybe actually inserting something into the projector would help. Perhaps. Maybe that's what I had to do. <laughs> okay. No, it's still not working. I think I think the fact that the lantern is broken probably doesn't help. Let's keep searching. <laughs> broken lantern is right twice a day. It's... Oh, another slide reel. Can I put them all in at the same time? I wonder. Well, I'm gonna take it down here anyway. Uh, boop a doop boop. Nope. It's one at a time. Okay, I need to find a lantern that works. <laughs> a lantern that is not smashed to pieces. Right, where would be... There, there seems to be a green glow from over there. Oh, the door's closing. Okay, goodbye. Let me, let me get a, a good vantage point. Going up here. At least there's plenty of trees around as well, so I don't have to worry about... Oh, what was... Huh? Wait, what is happening? Oh, no. Uh-oh, um... That's a lot of water, but that's a lot of water? Huh. What is floating along now? Is... Oh. Oh, wow, I'm glad I came on the roof. What the heck? I... Whoa. I nearly just got hit by that. Just because I saw some funky trees up here and I thought to come up high. Whoa, I just... <laughs> well, damn. Well, not, not damn anymore, I don't think. It's... The dam is burst, I'm pretty sure. Oh, but does that mean I can't go in there now? Because it's all flooded? Oh. Oh, but I guess it means I can go over here now. This isn't as high up in the air anymore. So I can check out what's going on in here. Lantern, does this one... <gasps> this one's not broken. Oh. Ooh. Oh, there's lanterns in each of the the sections here. Wait, can I go in there? Oh, I can go in there. Wait, I want to look at these properly. Uh, around candles with a little musical instrument. Doing a bit of fishing with the candles. Lots of candles. I'm I'm seeing a lot of candles in these. Riding away with candles, looking at other planets with candles. A lot of candles. Let's jump in here. The stairs. Hee <laughs> Okay, down I go. It's underwater. That's okay, I've got oxygen. Whoa, what is this? Oh, they're all here. Oh, whoa. Hi. Hello. 
I am... I would guess that they are dead. Unless they're in some kind of, like, stasis? No, they look dead. I think they're probably dead. They look like skeletons. Um... What is this? Oh! I've got a little bit of breathing air. Okay, that's, that's nice that they put this here. What is going on? Can I do anything? They're all holding these, like, stars. What is going on here? What is... What is this? This is... It's like, this isn't even, like, scary to me. It's just... I'm trying to figure out what happened, what's going... Oh, look at the... Look at that smile! Some of them have these necklaces, too. They've got, like, green... Necklace. Hmm. What does this do? I feel like this does something. Can I go in it? <laughs> Can I go in it? Nope, I can't go in it. Okay, uh... Let's go up higher again. Okay, no... Oh, no! Okay, I was gonna say, it looks like the water has filled it up now but it still is not i've still got a tiny bit of tiny breathing gap up up in the in the rafters <laughs> what is going on here i don't know if there's anything i can do in here i'm gonna head back up i think with my lantern let's let's see it may all be underwater but i might still clear i might still be able to look at the reels in the water Maybe. Everything is underwater now. Whoa, I feel like I got so lucky there. <laughs> I would have gotten swept away with that if I hadn't just had like the, the ADHD moment of what if I go on the roof? <laughs> right, I want to go back in this building. Oh no, it's not. It's over on the other side. over here there's another one of these floating along oh there's loads of stuff floating along right down here no don't close the door again come back all right i'm back in let's put the the lantern in oops um is there somewhere I can drop this? What if I pick... I, I can't drop this. I've got to drop it, like, down here, I guess. No, there's nowhere I can drop this lantern. I need, to, I need to drop this so that I can pick up the other one to take it out of the machine, but it won't let me. Huh? Is it because it's underwater? Is that why I can't drop it? Oh, what is... Huh? Oh, it's the light. Okay. Oh, the, the roof has just, like, fallen off now. That would have been a way easier way to get in here. There's a way I can get on, on the roof. This is... Okay, here. Here, roof. roof. Okay, I'm on the roof. Oh, look at that little platform just sliding away. Right, I'm going to drop lantern. Can I drop it? I saw an option to drop it a second ago, and now it's gone again. Why can't I drop this lan lantern? I, I want to drop the lantern. What is this? I have no idea. I can't drop this. <laughs> I can't drop this lantern. I don't want it. I don't want to hold it anymore, please. It won't let me drop it. I saw the drop thing for a second somewhere around here at some point. And now I just cannot drop it again. And now, now the sun's going to explode. 
So uh, my first exploration here did not quite... Oh, here. My first exploration here did not quite go as planned, but I found stuff. Oh my god, this... Ugh. I don't think I'm going to be able to see anything in time, but... Drop lantern, pick up the one that works. Pop it in. Please. There. Okay, lantern is in. No. I can't, I can't use the mechanism, I think, because it's underwater. Okay. Okay, well, I've had a good look around. Let's just go underwater for a bit. See what else there is to find. Never mind, the sun's exploding. Well, I got here. So that is incredibly cool. This whole area, wow. Can I interact with you? Nope. I cannot interact. That's okay. This is so interesting, though. I didn't know what to expect from the DLC, but I wasn't thinking, like, a whole... whole other lot of people. I was thinking, like, maybe expanding more... no my, but in, like, a different direction. But no, we've just got something else entirely here. And I don't understand the language, so I... I need to, I need to learn this language. That is so interesting. This is so cool. Aliens. My favorite. Technically, we're all aliens. We are all beings from a planet. <laughs> ah, new mystery yet. I'm so excited. Oh, this is, oh, this is so cool. It took me a little a little while to oh wait oh hey hold up a sec yeah 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 i already know about the launch codes what no i was going to tell you about using the ship log to set destination markers for locations you visited before i have done that already many times but i'm guessing that now that i've been there once i will be able to set destination to go there. That's actually exactly what I was gonna run to the ship for right now. <laughs> Backslating. It's, I can't believe Slate backseating me here. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> but yeah, it's actually so funny though, because I was about to run to the ship to look at the new log I got to see if it would let me lock on. <laughs> and I'm guessing that I can. It's a brilliant feature, if I say so myself. Dead useful. And the risk it poses of shorting out the fuel regulator and causing the ship to explode is so minimal that only Gossan would worry about it. I don't slay it, please! Why would you do this? Uh, what about locations I haven't visited before? Oh, sure, I'll just magically have the system know all the possible locations you plan to discover throughout the entire solar system, shall I? Wow, Slade, how do you come up with those incredible ideas? Oh, I do the best I can with what I've got. Really, too kind. Uh, that's not what my voice sounds like. <laughs> I haven't talked to them forever. They've been lonely. I've just been... No, they, they don't remember the lubes. They don't remember the lubes. I've, I've been roasting burnt marshmallows with them. That's not what my voice sounds like. Everyone's a critic. Anyway, I've got a fire to enjoy, and you've got launch codes to grab. Go wild with the marking feature while you're out there. Just, uh... <laughs> Try not to follow it so directly you fly into the sun, okay? I don't know why you would say that to me. It's not like I have ever done that. But thank you. Alright, I'm going. I'm going. Have fun, ruined. <laughs> yeah, who, who would just, like follow it a marker directly into the sun that would be so silly right here we go this oh the stranger 
It's called the Stranger. Okay, well, that feels like it fits very well. A massive artificial ring world hidden within some sort of cloaking field. It does not appear to be Harthian or Nomayan in origin. Can't believe I found the halo. Oh, I wanted to check the other one too. There's uh, River Lowlands. A low-lying a low -lying region near the entrance to the stranger. There are wooden buildings along the banks of the river. Yeah, I need to get there first before the dam breaks to have a look at all that stuff. So I want to go there. That's where I want to go. We're going to rush. We're going fast. Got to go fast. Doesn't matter if you're cloaked. I know where you are now. You're out here. Oh, and now I can autopilot there too. Oh, even better. Even better. This, oh, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is so cool. This is really cool. I am so excited to, to explore this. All right. It's so funny, like, trying to fly towards something I can't even see. How do I get in? Where did I park last time? I did not mean to just crash in like that. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, here. The little glowy bit. I really just wrecked my ship. Hold on, let me... Uh, well, I, I don't need my ship. We're fine. I don't need that. Oh, no, I exited, though. I need to get in. I need to get in there. Let me in, please. I don't care about my ship. Leave that behind. It's fine. I want to go in here. Huh. Oh, I'm going such a weird angle. I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Uh, I missed, I'm missing everything. I don't know how to drive. <laughs> I'm stuck. I can't get there. Huh. getting cloaked again no I need to be in there oh no that's that's actually like a, a beam a pillar of something I just need to get in I just need to get in here <laughs> well that was something what you like my incredible driving skills oh, wait, I can... oh my god what am I doing how do I get in here let me in please please Pretty please, Oh. Oh, okay, I'm in. <laughs> oh. This is so cool. Wait, it's lighter. I can see more stuff here. Whoa, what's going on over here? I want to look at all this. These are ships. There's ships here. Oh, they're so cool. I love how I'm like, I need to hurry in there. I need to be so fast. And I'm getting distracted already. Okay. Right, well, I do not need my ship. So in we go. There we go. Hey, hey! I'm somewhere else, but I, I left. I'm right here. Wait, this is so much easier. This is so fast. All right, let's go get a lantern very quickly. I'm starting with lantern and those reels because I am so curious. Okay, that's the, the building with the reels. Over here? Yeah, up here. This is where the place with the lanterns is. Okay, I've got here with a decent amount of time, I think. So I think it, yeah, I, I made much better time here this time. Look, the lanterns are actually glowing this time. They were not glowing before. I wonder when they stop glowing. The, oh, the water made it, oh, the water breaks them. Okay, I need to get another lantern. Okay, I've learned. I have learned what stops the lanterns working. 
<laughs> with a very serious scientific method that I definitely plan to do. I definitely meant to do that. That was on purpose. Wait, oh, I want to go down here before everything's all flooded. Wait, I can't? The thing's not out? Oh. Until th the water happens, I guess. Okay, well, I just need to not break all the lanterns, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna go safely over the bridge very carefully. We're gonna go in through the door very safely. Go up the stairs, we'll pop that in here. Yes, look. Okay. Okay, there was a real Was the real Okay, I think they were both up here. Yeah, there's one here, and there's another one a little further in, but let's start with this one. Okay. Okay, planet. That's the eye of the universe! Oh, What do these mean? Yeah, there's the eye. Oh, the music! Okay, eye, eye. Big, big kablammy? What is happening? Oh! What's it doing? Oh, hello! I like owls, that's so cool! Ooh, 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 ooh! What is... Oh! Um... What did you see? What did you see? What's happening? Oh! These ones are... Okay, those are damaged. Right, well, it's... They're going off to the eye of the universe, yes? And then we're back at the beginning. Okay. What does this mean? Oh, this is so interesting. Oh, okay, I want to look at the other slide reel as well. What happened? What what is happening here? Oh, I love those. Okay, next one. Next one. Oh, get yeah, the music of this is so good. I love everything. Everything about this game is incredible. Also, welcome in Avrick Zane. All right. That's damaged. That's oh oh oh. Oh. <gasps> that's that's terrifying. Okay. Oh. Is it like? The fact that there's, like, the chains there, I'm like, is something sealed? Is this, like, sealing something inside something? <sighs> I don't know what else I want to investigate now. Before the dam breaks. Oh, maybe... Yeah, I'm just gonna go back... Yeah. I wonder if I take the lamps Hi. away. <gasps> Hi! Sparrow, thank you so much for the resub! I wonder if it, like, taking the lanterns out will, like, make the thing go back. <gasps> it did! <gasps> it did! I took the lanterns out and it made the thing go back. Okay, let's go down here before it's flooded. <gasps> oh. But Asparo, thank you so much for the 37 months! Oh my- Oh! Oh. They all have, like, flames and- <gasps> Are you kidding me? Yes. Yes, I am doing this. Yes. Yes. Whoa. What is going on? Like, does it... Like, when the flood starts happening, though, this is all going to... 
all the fires are going to go out. Ha. Huh. This is so interesting. This is wild. Oh, here to lurk and support. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for stopping in and thank you so much for resubbing. Sorry, I'm like super distracted as I was thanking you because I just, I'm, I'm discovering so many things. I've, this is, uh, I've just gotten the DLC for Outer Wilds and I'm just like discovering things and my mouth is open. I'm just like, oh, oh, what's happening here? Ah, oh, I don't know what I want to check before before the dam breaks. I don't know when it's going to break. It took me a while to get here in the first time around. Is there anything in here? It's all so much lighter at the moment. I guess it makes sense. But I'm... I don't know what I want to explore. There's too much. I'm, I'm too spoiled for choice. There's too much I want to explore. Maybe I just pick a direction and go there. Like, oh, there's more stuff down there. It's like a whole... Oh! Ooh. Oh, ow. May have made a mistake. I'm, I'm really low on fuel. I don't know if I will find more fuel around here. Oh, if I've, I've reached like a current. Oh, ow. I'm caught in a current. I'm, I think I'm gonna die. I think I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, no. I'm, I'm, how am I not? Okay. My ship log is updated because I, I think I found another area. I'm really hurting and I've got no fuel, but I found it. Can you like beam me up? No, you will not beam me up. I'm not on a boat. <laughs> Gamer skill. Yeah, I'm just, I just have the natural survivability. Oh my goodness. I... Where? Well, there's a whole other area over here. Oh, that looks like the, the eye of the universe. Hello. Hi. Oh my goodness. I, oh. I did not expect there to be fuel around here. I thought I was doomed. Can I set up a campfire? Gonna be another nice little blue flame th thingy I can burn some marshmallows on? That would be really nice. Whoa. Oh, this place is so fascinating. Oh, I wonder if I can get up there. It might be risky to just jump. Hmm. I might do it anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, marshmallows roasted on an alien fire are known to the state of California to cause cancer. Well, um... I'm, I'm not human, so it's probably fine. Ow. Why did I do that? I'm already hurting so much. I don't think I'm surviving this one. Okay, another thing I don't understand. Great. But there's a nice little diagram at least. Oh wait, I should go and have a look over here. The, the big interesting tower. I do want to have a look at this. I'm gonna have a look over here. Thank you. Thank you for these sound alerts. It it it's it's okay when the sound alerts happen at moments like these, because I'm not on edge expecting something to happen. It was when I stepped into the scary scary dark new area with alien equipment and suddenly <laughs> And suddenly loud noise. That was the scary part. Oh, there's another thing here. Oh, I'm gonna remove the lanterns and see if any of these come out as well. Look at all these lanterns! There's so many. Oh, this one! This one. What's down here? What is here? Is there gonna be more 
Yeah, there's more of them. Hi. There's so many of them. Oh, that one's empty. Should I be worried that one of them's empty? Hmm. What the heck? Oh, there's the dam. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's, a, there's the dam going. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, scary. Also, Dr. Anime, hello! Welcome! And Oh, it's your birthday! Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday! I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for the hydrate, too. Let me have a sip while, um... Oh, this whole building's going, isn't it? I may not... Wa wait, I... Might not want to stand here. No, I think I can stand here. I think I'm safe to stand here while I have a drink. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate! But yes, happy birthday! I hope you have a great day. I hope you get lots of nice... Nice presents if you get any. I hope you get to eat good food. That might just be me. That's that's just me on my birthday. I'm I'm always just like, I want good food. <laughs> oh wait, no, I can roast marshmallows here. <gasps> Please let me heal heal up with my my scary scary tealy green flames. healed I'm healed I'm gonna have one more just just to enjoy it but yay I'm healed up I did not expect to survive all of this 100% did not expect to survive all of this but somehow somehow I have and I've still got a load of working lanterns here too let's see if any of the others do anything if I take the lanterns away Nope, it's just that one. Okay, this is so interesting, though. Makes me think there's one for, like, one of these towers for all of these segments. So, like, one, two, three, four, five. If there's five different towers, and each one ends up opening a different segment, maybe? Mysterious. Oh, hi! You're late because you're at the arcade! Oh, I hope you had fun at the arcade! How far have I gotten? I just got um, here. And I am making discoveries about water and lanterns. I haven't gone super far. The, the start of the stream was mostly just me easing my way back into Outer Wilds by doing some silly achievements, like um, dying in 60 seconds and shooting my ship in the orbital probe cannon. <laughs> But I'm finally, like, fully exploring the DLC now, and I am so intrigued. I also feel like I shouldn't be alive right now because I got caught in a an intense water current, and I thought I was a goner. But I'm still here! I somehow survived it. Oh, is this a different projector thingy? Oh, oh, I need to- oh, no. Oh, it's going to be impossible to bring a lantern over here. Oh. No, not impossible. I believe in myself. I'm already in the water. This does not bode well for the future. Um, I'm still going to try. Thankfully, there's quite a few lanterns. <laughs> I may need them. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. <gasps> yes, yes. Yes. <gasps> first try. First try, first time. Yeah, that one's broken. Okay. Okay. Now I just need a reel to put in it. Is there a reel to put in it? There's probably not even a reel around here. I <laughs> I just very excitedly got the lantern because I could. Oh, there might be one. Oh, there's going to be one down here in the water. Huh? Yeah. Uh, okay, I got one. I got one. Let's see what this is. Movie time. Boop. Right. 
Okay. Oh, second one around. The we we saw the top. Now it's like this one. Oh, that really is very ominous. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. Ooh. It's from a different angle? It's the same. Oh no. Now there's a second There's a second like ceiling mechanism. I presume it's a ceiling mechanism. I feel like they wouldn't chain it up that much if it if it was um something that's fine and safe. <laughs> and I think I saw another one. Yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. I can pick it up. Okay, I got it. I got it. Oh, there's another doorway. Ba, ba, ba. Get that one out. I want to have a look at this one. Okay. Oh, this is continuing the, the Eye of the Universe storyline. So this is the second one. The second one. Yeah, Eye of the Universe. What are they... What is happening? Oh, ooh. That... Oh. That doesn't... No, yeah, that's not great. That's, um... That is a thing to not do. I guess. Oh, look at the face! Rah! Um... Is this like a... A premonition. It's like, if that's the premonition and they're just like, we need to make sure this never happens. Oh! Of course there's arson. Of course there is. Uh, that's the place I saw before with the, the fallen... Oh. The fallen symbol with the eye of the universe. Oh, this is so interesting. Oop, ooh, ooh. There they are. They're making their little cloaking ring. They're setting up there. Okay, and then it's back to the beginning. This is so cool. This is so cool. Right, what else is down here? I see a doorway. Oh, it's just a, a way to get in from the outside, like if the world was not flooded. Okay, that makes sense. Is there anything, like, back here? No, there's not. Okay. At least I checked. Ha. Huh. So I wonder what happened. Like, my first initial thought is, like, maybe, like, they got powers from the Eye of the Universe, but then they, they saw, like, a vision of a future where the Eye of the Universe just destroys everything. So they they try and like prevent that from happening. Just like we are not touching this thing, we are not investigating this thing. We're staying away from this thing. I'm not sure. I need. I want more information. I need more information. This is so cool, though. Right? Did I check out over there? I think that's where I started. I wonder if there's anything down here. Oh, oh, there. Nothing. I'm just going really far down just to see if I... If I can find anything cool, but... I feel like a lot of this stuff is... Much easier to explore... Before the dam breaks? Hee hee. Hee hee hee. Like this whole building that's underwater now? But who knows, things might be revealed by, like, the broken beams and stuff. Like, there might be rooms I can't get into that I can only access once the roof's been, like, caved in. It's really interesting. It's so interesting. Oh! What was that? I don't know what happened. It was loud. Yeah, and then this, uh, this is the building that was burnt down. Oh, this is so interesting. 
so many questions. I cannot wait to check the ship log after this. Right, I'm gonna try my silly... No, I can't jump over there. Okay. I tried. What if I... No. Gravity's a little too heavy for me to just jump up the side of a cliff. Can I go like... I'm, I'm just gonna follow this. I'm, I'm just going down this way now. We're having a little float on the roof. Where am I going? Who knows? What is with the weird zapping? Oh. 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 That's what's with the weird zapping. It killed me. Okay, well, the sun was about to explode anyway, so... <laughs> I've learned. Live and learn. Electrical equipment plus floods and water probably does not mix well. I love how I even spotted it. I even spotted, like, the little sparks, and I was like, I'll just keep going towards it anyway. Oh, I'm so excited to check the logs out now, though. I need to find all of the, the <gasps> reels. I need to find all of the film reels. I also need marshmallow. Yeah. Right, let's go see what we got. Here we go. All right. Let's start River Lowlands, because I went back there. It, no, it just says there's more to explore here. But a burned slide reel. A slide reel that shows the origin of the stranger and its inhabitants. Several slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. Yup. Oh, I didn't mean to back out entirely. And then over here, we've got the Cinder Isles. A pair of small rocky islands connected by a village of stilt houses. I found a large metal symbol for the eye of the universe inside a burned out building. And then we got the burned slide reels again. A slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants analyzing the eye of the universe. Several slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. Yeah, well, they, they clearly analyzed it. Saw everyone dying. And then burned down the building. I'm, I want to I wanna find out everything. Sealed vault. Yeah, here we go. A slide reel from the River Lowlands showed a strange vault being closed and sealed with chains and a glowing symbol. A slide reel from the Cinder Isles showed a glowing symbol and chains appear around a strange vault. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen two of those. There's another one of these as well, so that's going to be a third area here, I'm guessing. Or maybe four. There might be four. I think there's only three for the vault, but there was four parts to the, the burned reels. So they're probably going to pop up there and there. So I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I gotta find more. I gotta go. We're going back. I want to find the another area that is not those two areas. Stranger there. We're going. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm hooked. I am so hooked. I mean, it's it's not hard from the beginning. I love this game. I love this game so, so much. It's, it's just having more mysteries is just, I don't know, it's so good. I'm so excited. I wasn't expecting just an entire whole, like, area like this. Well, I don't know what I expected, but, oh, it's so cool. This is so cool. All right. Let me in. Thank you. Match velocity. Can I bring my ship in here? Would be very nice. Kind of. Okay, I kind of brought my ship in here. Things went a little woobly, but yeah. Okay, right. Back in we go, I guess. Oh, I sure wish I knew the language. I wonder if there's going to be a way to learn the language. I mean, I made the translation tool for the the Namai. I wonder if I can make up a translation tool for this on the fly. 
Right, so down there was... Is that the... Wait. Yeah, that's the first place I discovered with the first reels. And then... I don't, I don't know where I went. Oh, I went that way. No, I kind of just got um, caught in the waves. I don't know how I ended up where I did, but... I'm in the raft now. Let's let's try and steer this thing. Very badly. I cannot steer this thing. Alright, we're going this way. I don't want to dock there. I want to keep going. I want to discover more things. Yeah, this place I was the first place I found and investigated. I'm really bad at driving this. Oh, I love the music! Oh, it's so good! Oh, the rapids. Here we go. This is where I almost died. But this time I have a raft. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I'm still fine. I'm fine. I'm still fine. And then this is the place I just investigated. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, this is where the electric current zip lines were. Well, they haven't fallen yet. They have not fallen. I can go underneath them. I can go past this way. Okay. And I see something up there. Yes. Somewhere else to explore. I want to land in this, like, oh, rocks, rocks. Rocks. My, my favorite police song. Uh, yeah, I want to get in here. Can I get in there? Down. Down. Down, down, that way, yes. This way, in here. Please, oh my goodness, I can't drive these things. <laughs> as soon as I was saying rocks, my brain was just full of like, there's a video that's just like, uh, Roxanne, but it's just rocks. <laughs> and I love that video. It's so silly. It's the silliest thing. Right, this is new. This is a new place. Let's explore here. Because I bet as well, I bet there's a place to explore past the dam that you won't be able to get past until the dam has burst. So that is also my other plan and theory for now. Oh goodness, can I get over here? Oh, the bridge is broken. I think I gotta wait for the dam to break. Is that the dam? No, that's not the dam. Oh, the dam's there. Oh, it's so wild how this is all on a ring. The fact that it's all on a ring is so... It's so fascinating. I'm not gonna be able to get over there, am I? Do I try it anyway? It's a really bad idea probably shouldn't. Ow. I'm not dead. I don't think I'm going to be able to scale this cliff. I don't think I can get up there. At least not yet. Let me get back to my raft. Oh no, I can't even get back to my raft, I don't think. <laughs> I'm so silly. I don't think I can get back up there. <laughs> well, I guess I'm... We're going. We are just going now, I guess. Um, good luck to me. Hopefully, I end up somewhere. What is going on down here? Oh, it's the shadow of the, the sand. I was so confused for a second. I had no idea what was going on. Ooh, can I get over here? Found new place. Found new place. I don't need a raft. I'm fine. I'm fine. Planned. I know exactly what I was doing. Oh. Whoa, why is it flickering? Why did everything start flickering? Is this gonna be the frights? Is this time for frights? Oh. 
I did not like that. I'm, um... I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure things were... Oh! Oh, I fell. Yeah. I'm sure things are okay. Whoa, what is that? Hold on, there's something here. Oh, there's a reel! There's a slide reel. I'm taking it. I don't know where the projector is yet, but I've, I've got the reel. <laughs> uh, oh, you're still thinking about... <laughs> we, you, I... Look just like Buddy Holly. Okay, I'm going this way. There's, there's going to be a projector somewhere around here, I presume. In here? This looks like a projector. Whoa, whoa, huh? Oh, this needs like a password or something, I guess. Oh, they all move. Oh. I don't know what that is. Okay, that's something to come back to. Um. Ah. We're somewhere else. I don't know the language, but we are here. It's like there's pipes. What are the pipes for? What is down here? What is... What is... What's with all the pipes? This is... Okay, I, I will launch my scout. Thank you. Oh, hey, look at that. I can't see it very well. Let me move my scout slightly closer to a better angle. That d still is not the best angle. It's like sun, planet with rings, flame, planet with rings, flame. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. So we go sun. Planet with rings. Flame. Planet with rings. Flame. Yes. No. Not quite. Maybe it's upside down. Maybe the the thing fell upside down. Sun. At least I don't have to change much if that is the case. Nope. No, maybe not. Yeah. No, it's it's it is. It's like it's sun. Sun, planet, flame, planet, flame. Yeah. It looks like it. Maybe it's for a different thing. Hmm. Well, let's keep looking around while I'm incredibly hurt. Oh, it's so quiet now. I'm. I really liked when the music was playing. It was nice and calmed my nerves. And now it's just like ambient background sound and I feel like I am going to perish at any moment. Yikes. What is this even for? Huh. I'm also really scared of being here because um, I see that. I see that right there. And I'm scared of it. I wonder if I can get up there. Might be able to get up there. Oh, is, wait, is there over here? Is this, uh, this might be a like a projection cinema? Yes, it's got like the same layout design. Oh, and there's a lantern here as well. That's that's so kind. That's so kind of them to just leave a lantern ready. How nice of them. Right, let's see what this one is. Alright. 
Okay, this is... Oh, this is number four. I've missed the third one. So that's damaged. Yep. Yep. Okay, good talk. Oh. Okay. Oh! Oh! So what, the thing that was sealed, was sealed up and then encased and put very deep underwater. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Right, let's see if there's any other reels hiding around here. Anything over here? Oh. Oh, let me open the door. Thank you. Oh, I just closed it behind me. Oh! Oh yeah, this is the, the bit I tried to jump to and then I fell. Okay, well... Yay. I wonder if there's more reels in the water. There might be another reel in the water. I'm not sure. No, no. Oh, there's the dam. There's the dam. There it goes. Look at that. Oh, and more stuff's falling here. I am probably also going to fall. Wait. That thing over there just fell. That that little house thing. That little thing over there just fell. And I really want to know what it's... Oh, the dam's going the other way. Oh, this is the safe side of the loop. Hold on. I'm, I want to float over to here. I want to see what... What the heck just fell? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, it's just a little raft thing. Oh, hey, there's the sealed thing. Oh, there is... Yep, that's the thing that they... Sealed up. Can I go, like, in it? Oh... <laughs> okay. Okay. Well. Well, I found the thing on the reels. Um. And I can heal up a little bit. Well. Wow. Okay. Uh. A little worrying. Yeah, there's like three three different seals. Like whatever they contained in here, they do not want it to be opened. Like they contained it in here, put it in another thing, put it at the bottom of the ocean. Um, it's not quite at the bottom now. Uh... This is so else around here? No, I don't think there is. Right, let's go back out. Let's see what else there is. Like, now that the dam has fallen, I could just, like, float down to where it was. Wait, what is this, too? There's, like, oh! I was wondering what was going on here. These are, like, they're just, like, bridges. Or, like, tunnels going through the rock. Right, can I get over to here? I didn't eat enough marshmallows. I'm still a little bit hurty. But it's okay, because I think the sun is probably going to explode soon. Is there anything else I can explore over here? No, I don't think so. Right, I think I want to go for a float. Have a little float along to where the, the dam was. Wait, or oh, there's, there's like... A little platform around the edge of here. This is... I'm... So intrigued by what's going on here. I'm also a little terrified of what I'm going to discover. I feel like 
the fact that this thing has been whatever's going on here has been very much sealed away oh no they're rapids i'm dead goodbye the water was too strong anyway that was fruitful that was so fruitful but yeah i think the fact that it's sealed away probably means that i shouldn't open it i also think it means i'm probably going to open it <laughs> Knowing me. I'm really curious if there's a way I can learn the language. I want to explore more and see if there is a way that I can learn the language and make a make a little impromptu translation thing. Right, let's go back. Let's look at the logs. What time is it? It's, it's quarter to one. I'm probably going to run over unless I have an untimely death, which is also very possible. But I'm doing another loop. I'm, I'm doing another loop. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, I love this game. All right, the reservoir. An enormous reservoir with wooden piers and buildings on both shores. Uh, slide reel that shows a strange vault being encased in a large metal structure and lowered underwater. Nearly all of the slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. Right, and then we found the submerged structure. A large metal structure suspended by chains. It can be entered by swimming from below. I learned that from Statue Island. Thank you. There is a sealed vault illuminated by a green fire inside the structure. I wonder if putting the fire out would do something. Hmm. Probably shouldn't. It would probably be bad. But I am so curious. There we go. The, yeah, this is just updating now because I found the vault. Right over here, we've got the cliffside building. Yeah, I saw a building marked with a unique symbol recessed into one of the canyon walls, but the bridge that used to lead to it has rotted away. Yeah, I, I, I want to, I want to see if I can get there. I want to try and get to that building. It's so interesting. Right, we're going. We're going again. <laughs> Boop. I love this so much. I love this game so much. I'm so happy to be playing this again. I've missed this. <laughs> Just, but yeah, also I'm really late to respond to this, but yeah, th th that's me with the yay heart of puzzles. Yakut would hate this. <laughs> Right, in we go. I wonder, like, if I enter from a different direction. Whoop. Oh, I didn't mean to just smash my ship up. Oop. Oops, oops. I was just going to be like, I wonder if I enter from a different dial of the... Let me out. Let me out. Oop. Oh, ooh. Ow. I've I did not do this very well. I just wanted to try and get out. Yeah, I've just I've just broken my ship entirely. But that's okay, because I don't plan on going anywhere else. I was just wondering if there are other entrances. But it's like it kind of seems like I'm using the same entrance, but I enter in a different area every time, which is interesting. Trying to match my velocity, please. Let me back. Let me, <laughs> Let me in there, please. Please. I'm gonna boot my head. <laughs> please. Please let me in, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Let me in. Let me in, please. Thank you very much. Yes. Let me in. In. Yes. Yes. I'm in. Boop! Ow! Ow! Okay, right. What else is around here? I'm wondering if there's anything I can discover around here, because there's all the, the ships here. Is there anything cool, like, up there? Maybe not. 
Nah, let's just go back in. <laughs> Okay, I'm in. Where am I? No, this is the same spot. Okay, so... Question is, where do I want to go? Have I been there? <gasps> That's the place I went to, but it was destroyed when I went there. There's something over here on the right. Let's try aim for that. Let's... Let's get on a raft and try and aim for that. I've decided on a direction. I probably won't actually end up going in that direction, but I'm gonna try. Oop, oop. It's okay, I know how to drive. I, uh, <laughs> I, I know. I know how to drive, maybe. Yeah, it's like up there is where I wanna go. I feel like that's a place I haven't investigated. I really love this music. This is a scary part. I'm really hurt already. This is so dangerous. Over here. Over here. Over here. No, I visited this one, didn't I? Yeah, I visited this one. The one I want is a little further on. We, we keep going. We keep going. It's down this way. Yeah, that's the arson house. I had a look there. We're going this way. I love this music. Going. The power lines are still up. I will not get zapped. I see it. I see the place. Oh no, do I go? No, I need to go. I need to go this way. I think I need to go this way. I think. Yes, this is where. Yes, new area. New place. I have not explored this. Yes. Now, please, just. Yes! I, re I reached it. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I made it. Whew. Whew. Okay. Uh, let's start by looking at the sign that I don't know how to read. What is this? What am I rotating? <gasps> oh, there's a... Oh. 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 Okay, we're going this way first. Oh no, this whole place- oh, this is so cool. Oh, I'm so glad I ended up here. Also, thank you for the hydrate. Let me- can I- can I hydrate and walk? Slightly. Maybe. <laughs> thank you for the hydrate! Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a little broken. Okay, I'm guessing there was a-, a there's a lift here too, but it's broken. So yeah, we're going the other way. I'm going up the lift. This is, oh, this is great. This is great. Okay, and now how do I make it work? Light? Yes, up. Hey, hey. Oh no, it's the flickering again. I don't like that. Why did, why did it flicker? Why did it do that? I don't like that. Why did it do that? Okay, I don't want to fall down. <laughs> Not after I worked so hard to get up here. Okay, that yeah, that's where the lift is. I can get over there. I want to get up there. Oop, oop. Oh, this is such a nice little sea. Look at that view. What a nice view. Oop. I don't like how it just flickered. I, The fact that there's so much weird flickering happening here does not fill me with confidence. That is a door which is closed. Oh! 
What is this? What is that? What is going on in there? Hmm. Does that send this up? Hold on, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna like activate it without me being on it. Oh no, it won't let me, okay. I wanted to see what would happen if I do this and... Oh, no! I'm down, okay. Okay, it sent me down. Will it pick me back up again? If I go back, please? I don't wanna be down here, I, I'm scared. I'm baby, please bring me back. I have not explored here yet. <laughs> that That is scary. Yeah, I got knocked down, but I got up again. They're never gonna keep me down. <laughs> I like that you're doing the Xander emoji to go with that. that. He would be so horrified. I'm so proud. Yeah, there's something going on in here. What is going on in there? I want to get into that room. How do I... How do I open this door? Is it going to be linked to these cables? There's loads of cables around. I don't know. Let's go up. Oh, I wonder if I can go like up and around and down. There's a way to drop down into there from here. No, I don't think so. But I can go over here. <gasps> what is this? It's like a glowing reel. Um, th this is this is a little scary. Oh, there's dark matter in there. Okay. Yep, that is a hazard. Okay, there's ghost matter. I guess I'm not going in there. Okay. I'm fine with that. It looks scary. <laughs> There is this building, which looks very interesting. Oh, it's got that same kind of locking mechanism on the door. Hmm. But can I get in from down here? Let's see. No, it's the same, same like locks on the doors. Oh, I can go in here though. Okay. Oh. Oh, I think. Do I just open it from the inside? Is that literally just how it works? Okay. Yeah, I just open it from the inside. That's good to know at least. Oh, there's another one of these. That's where the uh, the the skeletons were. What what is one of them doing here? Ugh. Oh boy, <laughs> you've returned from your months of lurking for more outer wilds. Oh, I'm so glad you could make it. I'm so sorry. I feel like this is gonna be the the last loop for now because it's already approaching 1 a.m. for me. But I'm glad you could make it. You've made it in time for me to. Oh, <gasps> what's going on in here? That's there's a reel there. What is in here? Doorway, what is that? Hmm. Can I send, I'm gonna send my scout here. Oh, I can't quite see through the door. A little further? Nope. I, no, I can't see through the doorway. Okay. What else is in here? There's another hole there. I'm like, wouldn't it be so cool if I could launch my scout to like fly through that hole as well? Hmm. Very interesting. I am very curious as to what's further down here. Oh, there's like a broken sign here as well. I wonder what the sign would be for. Yeah, because that door's shut. I wonder if there, there might be a way that I'd be able to open that 
like with my scout maybe oh there goes the dam that made me jump <laughs> i'm going up i'm going up here i want to be up and to the side when everything starts happening do, 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 do. i want to oh do i want to go oh no i want to check this out i want to check this out I want to check this out. I, I do want to check that place out too. I think there's going to be more reels in there. But I want to check this out more. Yes, another one of these. This one already has no lanterns here. Okay. So, let's take these out and see if any of them open up. Oh! First try! Nice! They're going down. Going down. Yeah, there's more of them here again. Okay, they all seem to be here this time. It was only that one from before where one was missing. Hmm. One more. One more. Oh, I burnt it. Oopsie. For once, I don't actually want to burn them. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's better. Oh, a petition for a Xander emote that's just this one, but tilted up like 50 degrees, so it looks like he's groaning in disgust. <laughs> oh, that would be good. That would be really good. Oh. Right, what's over here? Lots of broken stuff. There's another lift over here. Stuff over here. I'm going back to the the room which I think is a cinema room. Oh no, the bridge broke. Ah. I came over here at the right time. The bridge is broken now. Can I still get over that way? I don't think so. I think I'm stuck on this side now. I don't think I can get back. Maybe? I might be able to get back. What's the worst that can happen? I got back. Yes! Okay. Artifact? <gasps> Wait, this is like- oh! This is like, this is what all of the skeletons were holding. All of the skeletons were holding one of these. What is it? What is this artifact? Can I put it in here? Nope, artifact does not fit. Okay, that's good to know. Huh. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, I have an artifact now. There's a couple reels down here too. Oh, there's so many reels. I don't have a lantern, do I? Oh no, there's only two. There's two reels. I, I saw the lantern and thought it was a reel. Never mind. I don't think I have a lantern here though, do I? Oh no, it's already got... Oh no. Wait, what if I... What if I do this? I wonder if I could use my scout to light up the thing. No, I want the scout to go on top. <gasps> yeah, like that. Oh, look. <laughs> look. It's it's a little janky. No, okay. I could only see the first part. It's it's too dark. But yeah, that's that's the third the third thing coming together. Okay, I I liked my idea of using my scout as an impromptu lantern, but it will not work for this. Right, so I need to find a lantern. But I don't think I've seen any around here. So, um... Any... any spell lanterns? Pull that one out? Nope. 
Hmm. That's like I I want to know like what else is like in here. Like other than danger. I can't see anything. It's so bright. I just cannot see anything. What is going on? Right. I'm going to do it like a little here. Okay, I see trees. Ooh. Okay, interesting. Yeah, all of the lanterns were on the other side. Can I make the jump again twice, do you think? Well, I have to try. This may go terribly, terribly wrong. I have to try. I have to try. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can do this. Yes! Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm getting so good at this now. Oh, yes. I've got my lantern. Let's watch the reels. Here we go. Here we go. Movie time. Right, this is the third one. This is adding the third... The third seal to the thing. Yeah, it's it's just that. Right now, where... <laughs> where were the other reels? Oh, this way? No, that's the way out. This way. Go away. I want to see the other reel. What's on this reel? Is this going to be part three of the story? If it is, that'll mean I found all of the reels, so that feels very good. Boop. Yeah, this is the third one. Yes! Slideshow time! We got the third one. Next part of the story. Oh, the music. Yeah. Watching. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at that! It's so nice! Oh, that's... and that's burned. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Oh! And that's where I found all the skeletons. With, with their artifacts. What are they doing? What are they doing? Whoa, that is... What are they doing? Oh, I just thought, I saw that artifact. And I saw that one place where there was an empty spot in the chamber room. What would happen if I went there with the artifact and got into position? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I'll have time to do that now. I think the sun is going to explode soon. But that would be very interesting to think about. I also don't remember where I put the artifact. <laughs> I put it down at some point. When did I put it in the in the real room? I don't remember where I put it. <laughs> I'm so silly. I found this really cool artifact and I, I put it down. And now I don't know where it is. Where did I put my funky artifact? Is is it down here? I, oh, I did! I dropped it down here. Okay. Let me hold on to my, my funky artifact as the world ends. Actually, you know what I'm going to do as the world ends? I'm gonna be silly. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something I may regret. What happens if I come down here with my artifact to the fire and I do this? No. Okay. Never mind. Oh, I bet, I bet I know what I have to do. I bet I have to take this to the bit with all of the sealed in stuff. 
because there was the the fire outside the the sealed vault with the three locks. I bet I take the artifact there. Oh, this is so cool though. This is so cool. Next time I play this, I'm getting this artifact and I'm going to run back to that place where there was like the empty slot to to be like strapped in and I'm going to try and go there and Oh wait, no focus. I'm focusing. Conceal? What is this? Ooh. This has so many mechanics that I've only just... I only just realized I can do stuff with this. As the sun is exploding. Well, this this means next week is going to be very exciting. Oh. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. Oh, I love this game. I love this game. I love this game so much. I love this game with all my heart. <laughs> GD, thank you. Thank you. I feel like I made really good progress just in the first stream. That that felt so good. But uh, what I'm going to do is it it's it's already it's it's 10 minutes past 1. I'm definitely over time. But before I finish, I want to I want to run up to the ship and have a look at the logs first. And also Yum. I want to quickly check the locks. Oh, and it means I've got all week to think about what the heck these things mean as well. Oh, I am so ready to spend the entire week theorizing. I am so excited. Let's have a look. Let's see what I got. Over here, we got something new for the sealed vault. Yep, a slide reel from the hidden gorge showed a, sh a glowing symbol and chains appear around a strained vault. Yep, we just found all of those. And so we found the hidden gorge. A narrow gorge along the rightmost branch of the river. There are dwellings built into both cliff faces high above. And yep, I found here, oh, a slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants congregating around a strange green fire. Several slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. Yeah, there's so many mysteries. There are so many mysteries. I am... I'm so excited. But yes, we shall quit. We shall reset loop and head to the main menu. And, oh, I am... I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be playing this again. I'm so happy to have new mysteries. I'm so happy to still have old mysteries to wind up. I'm... Oh, it feels good to be back here. It feels good to be back playing Outer Wilds again. I think I'm glad I took a break for a while so that I could give myself time to like fully digest the base game because, oh, what an experience. That was so good. But I'm, I'm very excited to be back playing it again. I'm so, I'm so excited. And I'm so excited for next week too. I already have my plans of action in my head. Like... They're, they're probably terrible ideas, but I'm gonna do them. But, oh, it's... It's been so good. It's been so great. I am so... So glad... That... I'm so glad that went as well as it did as well, like... I'm... I'm... I'm just gonna be thinking about it all week. I'm gonna be making up so many wild theories, and then I'll, like, narrow it down to three... To actually share with people. But, oh, it's it's so good. It's just such a good game. I just love this game so much. But yes, it is 1.13 a.m. So with that, I shall... Bloop. I will head on over to here and we can find a raid target. Also, I don't think I encountered any of the, the frights yet. So I feel like I have that to look forward to too, because the only things that seemed a little, like, frightening was the couple of times when my, my light flickered a little bit. So I'm wondering if there's going to be a situation where, like, I got close to something. <gasps> oh, that's... <laughs> that's... That's true! I encountered chat sound alerts. Yeah, the biggest fright I got was, um... The, the Metal Gear Solid <laughs> But oh, that was so much fun. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be playing this again. And I got so many achievements too. I got five achievements. 
I got five achievements and all of them were silly. I got five silly achievements. That is so good. I got an achievement for dying in 60 seconds. I got an achievement for booping the deep space satellite out of orbit. I got one for trying to escape the solar system. I got one for launching my ship into the sun with a gravity cannon and missing the sun. And I got one for deorbiting the Harkian satellite that was taking photos of the planet. So yeah, that went, that went so well. Ah, oh, it was super scared on the approach to the stranger. Oh, from anticipation. I, oh, I, that was so fun. I had so much fun with that. Like, discovering that there was just like a void there was the coolest thing. The music and the lights. Yeah, it's, as soon as I arrived there, I was just like, this is terrifying. Where the heck am I? This is so frightening. And then the next time I got there was earlier on in the loop. And it was so bright. It was so bright and nice. And I was just like, oh yeah, I'm just, I'm going to head along to the nice little ring village now. But oh, that was so fun. That was so good. Don't spoil myself. I will not. I will be very careful. Don't worry. The, the one thing I've really enjoyed about this game has been the fact that I've not spoiled myself on anything. Like, it, it makes it so much more fun to discover things like that. Like, the, the moments of realization, I feel, are what makes this game so special. Like, without those moments, without those, oh my goodness, this means that kind of moments, it it wouldn't be as good as it is. It's That's that's the enjoyment. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it feels so ominous as it gets big enough to blot out the whole sun. It really does. I was like, a, a, the first time, I, I didn't realize I'd like ended up somewhere. <laughs> It was, I was wondering what was going to happen. I thought I had just like erased myself from existence or something. But oh, it's oh, so, it's so cool. It's such a cool game. I am so happy to be playing it. Right, anyway, let's, let's find a raid target so I can go to bed. Who shall I raid? Who shall I raid? There's so many people I know. Who haven't I raided in a while? Wait, rat, rat's on. <gasps> rat's online. I haven't raided rat in ages. I'm gonna raid rat. But um, she's playing a game that I've I've not played, so I'm gonna be like very spoiler free raid and run. But I'm gonna send you over to the lovely rat scare. She is a a rat VTuber. She's not a mouse, and she's currently playing Summer at the Edge of the Universe, which is a Studio Elan. Yuri visual novel demo and I have not played the demo because I'm waiting for the full game to come out so I, that I can play it all at once so I'm gonna be avoiding all of the gameplay content but I really want to send the raid over to Rat because she's lovely and I've not had the chance to raid her in like a million years so yeah I think it is time for me to rest Although I say rest, I'm not going to be resting. I'm going to be lying in bed thinking about the stranger. <laughs> I'm going to be lying in bed thinking about the game. I'm not going to be resting. But either way, I, sh I should at least lie down. That's probably a good idea at 1.18 a.m. So with that, here is the raid message. If you're subbed, we got fire. If you're not subbed, there's still fire. <laughs> and I'm going to send you over to the lovely rat. She is wonderful. Yeah, take the time to translate the language. Yes, I'm I'm gonna screenshot every moment where there has been the language and work out how to speak it. Definitely. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much everyone for joining. It has been so much fun. I've been having I'm I'm, I'm just I'm just so excited to play it again next week. But yes, that's it from me for now. The schedule for next week will go up um, sometime tomorrow. After I've actually had some sleep. But I am so excited to play this again next Sunday. I'm... I can't wait. I'm so excited. It's been... It's so good. It's such a good game. And oh, I'll have to get my plan of action sorted too. I'll, I'll actually make notes on the things I want to look into. The way I did with the base game when I would make my little... <laughs> my little uh, notepad 
of all the things I want to try. But yes, that is it from me for now. I am going to go and think about everything. And I will send you over rat's way. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye-bye!